My dear, our nuptials are impending. I knew I wanted to wife you ever since I got the flame toppy that one time at Buckingham Palace. I appreciate you and I love you dearly. I want to know, who would you like to serenade us upon our entry to the palace to get married and become prince and princess? Well, like, I really like Cardi B. She's like number one on the charts right now. Can we get her? Can we get her? I mean, you should be able to get her. You're like royalty, right? Yeah. Yes, my dear. Anything for you. I can get anybody you want. I've got Cardi B on deck right now. Hold on. Let me send her a DM. We're going to make this happen. Yo, what's good? What's poppin'? Yo, I'm very excited to be doing today the introduction of the prince and the princess. Uh, Harry, that's his name, right? Harry and Meghan Merkel. That's type lit. That's a type lit name because you out here doing Megan's and Merkels. Yo, anyway, this is probably, this is so crazy because I just got nominated for Grammys and like I'm out here winning. So like, and I'm just inspiring everybody from the Bronx. Yo, shout out to Deezus and Meryl. They also inspired me to do this because I'm gonna just take a left right now and tell y'all that this is episode fucking 91 of the podcast the number one podcast on the planet stupid okay y'all niggas better get in line because all your other podcasts fuck y'all that's right i'm talking spicy because i'm from the motherfucking bx yo big up Jesus, big up Merrill. we out here episode 91 you know what i'm saying i'm from the 90s i was born in the 90s y'all see me as susan rendezvous clapping it up you know what i'm saying i'm out here on top of the charts you know what i'm saying fuck out of here we winning bx all day suck my dick from the back yo live from red bull studios new york Hey, mm-hmm. episode 91. 91. Yeah. Some of y'all were born in 1991. Were they? Was, How old are you if you were born in 1991? I don't know. 27? 28. Oh, 28. yeah. Right. yeah you, you watched 91. You were born in okay. 91. Shit. Had an ill coke flow in 91. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Me, drag on. Exactly. No. Listen, you, nigga, if you, had, if you had to get a 20 bag from the fever, Yo. all right? That shit had my face on it. <laughs> okay. Don't get that shit twisted. Episode 91 yeah. is the boys. Uh-huh. The boys. Back in town, the b- 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 boys are back in town. That's Episode right. 91 live from the octagon of yeah. audio critical clarity, the mecca of sound. Yeah, Red Bull Studios. Where podcasts live and other sounds die. Mm. Bow, 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 bow. Red Bull Studios, you know what it is. It's your boy. Mm. Play that beautiful music. Yeah. Actually, do that drop. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's your boy, Jesus Nice, a.k.a. Jesus Vice, a.k.a. Young Chipotle, a.k.a. Pocket State, Fat Lake Cheerio, a.k.a. Chris Dash for Sling Dick, Eli Lippy, Booch Booch Girl, some mm. of them I know you, bitch. Young Day Party, Young Hot Take, DJ Take Fuego, Mr. Nazo de Rondo, Mil Nova Seta Novete, Cuatro Nueva York, Mikhail uh, going off the Juve Boss, MC Luka Goopy, putting up for 40 with your shorty, Ooh. a.k.a. Don't talk to me in the Uber pool. Damn, I don't know you, nigga. Like, don't, don't just be quiet. Pass me the charge, dog. Don't look at me, man. Pass me that little bit of water there. <laughs> yeah, it's not enough for a full, you know, punch the throat, but it, it gets a job. <laughs> Done. So play bottles. The original, my plus one got a plus one, so don't make a fuss, nah. son. Matter of fact, I'm not even RSVP and you seen the face. Come on, man. When security start whispering, like, yo, the number one show late night, you know what it is. Hold on to your bitch, you might lose her. <laughs> Jesus Rossi, the Jamaican Jew, Javain Avocado Toast. Damn. I'm delicious. Put some um alf- wow. alfalfa sprouts on there. It's delicious. Papa. It's a good, a good mouthfeel. Young Pop, the Goose Mufasa. Young Chakuni, we're out the cornery. AK Chili Lamone, left handed reliever for the Yankees. K. Lo K. Vice K. Mazuzaka, three phone Jones. Jesus X, Machina, J. Chuckles, Stanley Cups. The human doctor bond is labeled dilute, dilute, dilute. For maximum appeal, baby. Gianna the Trapio, Mr. 240P, I like my Pinot Burry. DJ Woolley, AK, listen to Wash FM. Up next, we got three hours of the the new boys, wow. you're a jerk. Oh, the shit. curry goat, Jesus Spicer, Jamal Hasper, and the Bronx, Celine Dion, Ray, nephew's nephew, the Moreno, you cannot contain oh, the human memory word of Ja, <laughs> young Aaron, the racist provocateur, Henrik Budcraft, you see me in the garden blocking all the goals oh, like shit. a hater. Ah, no one's getting past. I'm like the ugly girl in the club. We came together, we'll leave it together. Don't give her your digits. Sergio can't see me. <laughs> Vladimir Buffin, the human weather's melting in your mouth. <laughs> Mr. Beck's on deck. It's in. Actually, not today. I have a little bit of a cold, so I'm okay. actually drinking a pure juice soul kick. It's apple, pineapple, lemon, and ginger. But oh, you know, yeah. the jokes are still going to be drunk. <laughs> Ricky Tiki Squabby, Greg Popovich, <sighs> more sage, Ch- Mahatma Gandhi, Shit. not Maccabee, but I got the cucumber. Oh, cucumber. Cucumber. Slide it in. <laughs> the juices are pressed, but your boy never is. I oh, am the art, damn it. Yeah. I say as I whip my back and one tear comes down like Denzel and Glory. The Don Dada Ganoush. Yeah. No more cup of noodles. The Prince of Peckham. The Fashion Shit. Over Cast Nova Fat. William H. Five Cent. Five, ten Cent. <laughs> Dollar. Ooh. Forget this small change, you give what? me what? 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 big money. money. Why? 
That's for my mad Calypso Disney musical coming out. With the country Bear Jamboree. The only anthem I still do is Dipset. Dipset. Don't let Malcolm Jenkins find that out. Mr. Saga, oh. catch me in square one, top left. Madden's no, no. Trill Rizzuto, holy cow. Catch me in the money store. Mr. Soft Pops, because all I do is count checks Chill. and jerk off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got OJ, we got purple stuff, we got soda, and what else? Uh, uh, it's me, Sunny D. Whoa. David, you're man. Mr. Shopping at Street with a bad breeze. Like, I'm easy, please believe me. The black Asiatic act, crack, 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 get back, you got an automatic craftmatic. Mr. La Marina, Mesh Marina with a fresh misdemeanor and a cold demeanor, aka a problematic bay. Yeah. Still believe in the earth is flat. Let's go. Okay, Flyer Society. I bet you said new boys. You're a jerk. Oh my god. You're a jerk. I totally forgot the niggas existed. You know what it is, man. It's your boy, the Kid Mero, aka the Human Durag Flap, aka Donovan McDab, aka Curve Gotti, aka Trees Khalifa. Fuck who is Khalifa? Catch me at Sound Clash. Butt up the place, aka Skirt Loader, aka Jason Fat Dick. I'll go still, you shorty. In the new season. I'm not in jail. AKA, I don't fucking baby money guy. Fuck you, man. Look at my dad. AKA, check this us again, you fucking coward. My name is definitely on there right next to David Spade, you fucking jerk. How dare you? Fuck out of here. I'll smack the shit out of you. Call the promoter. And I'm a step into the side while you check. I'm not Chanel West Coast, nigga. And I'm not with Lil Pup. If you call him Lil Pup, you're a racist. Hey. AKA, I'll shut down Build a Bill Workshop, nigga. Cop all the motherfucking accessories, even the electronic ones, nigga. Why? Because I'm the fucking d- d- dad of the year. AKA, Bitch Smack Me Yombo. AKA, Feel the Ass Tyson. AKA, Frying El Pesci, MVP of La Mota. I got the Euros on Deckington. AKA, Tom Brazy. Shorty got my balls deflated, but hey, I'm not, at least I'm not Eli getting benched. <laughs> AKA the Dominican Don Dada, AKA Barlow Santana, so smooth. AKA Blem de la Blem, I'm Blem for real. AKA Romeo Santos, <laughs> tu favorito, mami. I'm so zany. <laughs> Let me black out. AKA dig in your bimbo tumbo. You don't come with this pussy no more, okay? You bought from this pussy. This pussy belongs to me now, okay? Don't come in the paint, my nigga, because I will block your balls. Balls. I'm sorry about that. AKA, Ben Boss and my hands are gifted. I've replaced your cavicle with a Honda Accord glove box. Now you can stash your drugs and evade the authorities. You're welcome. That's smart. Candy whip up the yams. AKA, Light Nail Dutchie. Hello? Is it weed you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. That you're broke as in your five. Dog, we're not smoking like... Every, when niggas want weed now, like, we're buying ounces, though. Like, niggas ain't even buying 20. Like, we're not exchanging cash. Like, I'm using cash app and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas are doing big things. Now. AK, I'll open your medicine cabinet. Please secure your benzos, man. You fucking wing. You know why? Because it's the Zen, man. AK, Rico Sabroso. AK, Baby Newport. Two five niggas got garbage on the way. AK, Zen, Hill, Beddingfield. Mm, I gotta get some sticks. AK, Nino Brown. Shut the car down. AK, the East Tree, my Stevie B. Mm, I wanna be the one your DD is fucking. Catch me at Katrina Park live with TKA and Lil Susie, aka the plantain stupid over in the sky. One day you will find me smoking weed or tree mud. Asking for a change, spill by some backwoods. I prefer the honey berry. They're very smooth and they come down my throat. Oh, know. so smooth. Yeah, they preserve my vocal cords. AKA, pull it up from 50 in a trilby post game flow. You know who it is, Barmelo's Anthony. <laughs> Bang! AKA, if you see me at Target eating a very small Pizza Hut pizza dog, <sighs> respect pizza. my fucking agency, nigga. Approach me like a fucking Ursine mammal, I may react erratically. You know what I'm saying? Hasan did it by the pizza, coño! Que lo que mi gente, you only hit the FIFA, coño. Bajando caro con un coro malo. This night, this night, I want to make everyone claro. I'm the fucking man numero uno, así que acuérdate si tú no tienes, si tú no eres de nada más cagrano, que es fácil te ploto con este peine, oíste? Yo no soy barbero, pero yo tengo el peine encima. Así que, cálmate lo nervios. Episode 91. Let's go, papi. Episode 91. Like the hooks. As always, live from Red Bull Studios. Yeah. Shout out to sponsors. Shout out to Narcan. See yeah. lives out there. Yeah, actually, it's apparently you got to double the dosage of Narcan now because people be having fentanyl and shit. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I bet you niggas stick to regular drugs. Well, you don't know if you get like a fentanyl laced Zanny and shit. Like, oh, yeah. Don't do that. Don't buy Zanny. Just get prescribed Zanny. Go to doctor. Or, or don't, don't use them to, you know. Use them for necessary, necessary. Yeah, things. listen, you don't like come. You don't people. come. You don't come to this podcast to get preached to. Yeah. You come for wash stories in the news. Uh, shout out to Michael Dude, Flynn. Drugs. Remember Michael Flynn? He was on the campaign and he was like, "If Hillary did half the stuff I did, 
She'd be locked up. Mm-hmm. Or if I did have to say, and then he did yeah. the lock him up chat. Yeah. Well, he just pled guilty yeah. to, he's pleading, copping the plea. Oh, I gotta go to court on a Friday at 10 30. Mm. Ooh. Sucks for you. You tight. Oh. You're sick. That's tight. Cause then, first of all, the court, court officers, they already checked out for the weekend. So oh, they're yeah. not moving fast. The metal detector line's gonna be all OD they mad. on they and mad. shit. Yo, I tried to call out. I tried to put in for my day today, yo, and they deny me, B. I'm tight, yo. Mm. Y'all niggas gonna be standing here all fucking day. Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here. Take your hats off. I told you, hats go through the metal yo, detector. What the fuck, bro? They I just told keep you fucking everything. with you. They everything. tell you take your hat off, tell the person behind you, keep your jacket on. Like, you don't what? know, whatever. Yo, take your left shoe off and put your sock in your pocket, nigga. I told Yo, you already 10 times. Put one foot in, put one foot out. Do, Do the, the hokey pokey, pokey. It's you know all saying? about. Turn yourself around. That's what it's all about, okay. stupid. You. You can, huh? I, can I see your come here. Can I see your uh can come I see in. your cooties vaccination? You got a fucking green card? Catch me, me a see TSA that shit. shit. I'm like, <laughs> circle, circle, dot, dot. Let me see Yeah, you don't want to go to court on Friday. That shit is whack. You don't want to go to court ever. But then it depends where you go to court. If you go to court for like a, a criminal charge, that's one thing. If you go in there for like, like you're suing somebody, then it's different. Then you're like, you're, you're you have to go to court, to court yeah, and shit. Like, yeah, I can't you got wait. new suits and shit. I can't wait to sue the shit out this nigga. You meet your co- your lawyer outside. He's mad cheery with his fake veneers. Like, yeah, we're about to cash out. Who feels like winning today? All right. Hey, hey, who said nothing good would come of getting hit by a city bus? If you got, if your lawyer. Got fake teeth, they're in good hands. Oh, you're yeah. so straight. If so it's he's got, if your lawyer got their real natural teeth, that means they care about like the environment. And they don't care about yeah, envi- yeah. vanity, and they have ethics. No, mm-hmm. you're, you're not going to win. You need a, you need a big Mike Francesa yeah. horse veneers, like yeah. Yeah. fucking Julian. This kind of shit, yeah. <laughs> shit you could chew through an oat bag because that, that nigga yeah. just lied to the judge. <laughs> Mm. Shit you can't burn, nigga. You gotta pull them shit before you bury the body. We should do a sitcom where we're just like hood. Uh, we just smoke a lot of weed and we watch a lot of Judge Judy and we become mm. lo- legal geniuses and we just I represent like people. We just like find that. mad loopholes and shit. Yeah. I was like, well, is it his gun? Because guess who else print was on the barrel of the mm. gun? The Chihuahua. Oh, they be like, what the fuck? Oh shit, he owned this. Stupid. They be like, Throw it out. Throw the case Throw the out. Gun. Throw the case out. It's true. Chihuahuas are mad aggressive. Bronx Law. <laughs> You have to give it a very simple name because it has to be on like CBS. <laughs> you can't get it too fancy a name. It has to be. No. It could be like two brown people doing court cases. That's all. Uh, no. If you do that, Bronx then. NCIS. <laughs> That'll do numbers. That NCIS would. Does numbers ridiculous. What does NCIS stand for? N- Naval fucking. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Remember no, they no, had no. JAG. Oh god. They had what a show say? about the cops of the army. Like, you done and, ran out of shit. Are you going to have one about, like, the, the firefighters of the army? You know what I'm saying? Like, fight, fight fly. Or, <laughs> fucking Lehman Brothers Mail Old white people love shit like that, though. Yeah, they love, they love a good procedure. NCIS is, NCIS is literally the, that same thing except for the Navy. Yeah. It's the Navy investigation. They love the fire departments, hospitals, police departments, lawyers, and That's the army. It. That's why hospital shows will always win. MASH. Is what yeah. I'm oh, shout out to MASH. MASH. That's a throwback. Oh. Uh, that started the wave. Rest in peace, my grandma. The one thing I remember her ever saying was Mash is funny. Me hate Mash, you see? <laughs> yeah, mash. The one thing she would say. Shout out to y'all yeah. S. Shout out to Alan Alda. Is Alan Alda still alive? Yeah, but uh, barely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's yeah, shout, yeah. Out to- shout out to Alan Alda. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa, embarrassing. <laughs> Bruh. Wow. Look at everything. Damn. Shout out to Alan Alda. Shout out to Alan Alda. Gang, gang. BX all day. He was right. on with Michael K on fucking Yes Network. Oh, yeah? Michael K does that sit down shit that he does. Oh yeah, people. but are those, aren't those old? Those are like from like oh four and shit. Yeah. He was on there like, uh, you know, I'm from I'm just a kid from the Bronx, you know, uh, you know when the Bronx was a little different. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know. It's a what's little, the what's the cutoff now for saying that little, when the Bronx was a little different? A little different. Uh, it depends on what era, what you're talking about. If you're a white person and trying to t- harken back to the days when there was like white people in the Bronx, yeah. you gotta, when like, Project was all white people, yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Niggas is playing that whack game where you have like a tire and you make it go with the yeah. stick. With the stick, like yo, I'm like nigga, I play shit in DR. Niggas all got lights. Like, niggas what are you that talking was about? not what life was like in the fifties. What? Like, <laughs> imagine you walking through Edward Project in 1950s. So it was like, hey nigger, hey nigger. As opposed to now, it's like, yo, that my nigga, what's well, good, nigga? Yo, 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 nigga. yo, 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 Fuck out of here. That's not your bodega. You're in the wrong bodega. Fuck out of here. Shout out everyone that lives in. Shout out everyone that lives in the hood, and you have a specific bodega you could go to because there's another one you can't go yeah, to because of either gas, because of gangs, beef, or yeah. uh, racial discrimination. Mm. I remember when I lived over by Fordham Road, there was the Puerto Rican bodega and the Dominican bodega. Ah. They were right across the street. Oh, niggas, you hear reggaeton in one and bachata in the other? Niggas was like, yo, yeah. But they both had the same secret families and shit. <laughs> Tunnel underneath. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, keep it in the family. Yeah. Shout out to Puerto Rico. You know what I'm saying. Still struggling and not receiving any help. The governor the or the mayor of Puerto Rico. What is it? The governor. Governor of Puerto governor. Rico. Excuse me. Got my Donald Trump on. <laughs> she was in the Bronx yesterday. Shout she was on Bronx. Shout out Bronx 12. Hey, hey, out there. Hey, hey. Get out there. 
Shout out to fucking the Bronx up in Puerto Rico more than Donald Trump up in Puerto Rico. Well, Donald Trump doesn't really bang with the uh, Browns. No, he doesn't. He could come out. He could literally. He's so wild on Twitter right now. He could literally tweet, I don't bang with the Browns. Yeah. Everyone would be like, what does this mean? I mean, is he talking about the football team? He could be talking about the football team. Let's not jump to conclusions. Sarah, okay? uh, Sarah Huckabee would be like, well, uh, everyone looks terrible in Brown. I mean, let's be real. He doesn't want to be seen in a Brown suit. Obama wore a Brown suit, and you saw the chastigation yeah. that uh-huh. happened to him. So that's what he meant simply. He wore a suit the same color as his skin. So, I mean, Next well, question. Do that? Anybody except from that gorilla looking April Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> April Ryan got to give her the hands one day. Just Early, like yeah. April Ryan's trying to be professional. She's a she's a journalist. Yeah. She sees it. She got to take on like she got to call like a yo April no. Ryan. If you want us to jump, I'm not gonna say anyone's names. No, I'm trying to sit down the Colbert mm-hmm. show and it had to be bleeped out. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? If you want someone to get run up, be yeah, scary. How about your boys? Just do the wild punk flex on. What's up with you? Check our temperature real quick. Yeah. Like, what's good? What's good with you? What's good? Yo, what's up, you, you bang, say nigga? April. Yo, I don't want to hear you say April again. I don't care if you're talking about the months of the year. I don't care if you're talking about the chick that hangs with the Ninja Turtles. I don't give a physical. You better not say no April. Matter of fact, nigga, when you come in that motherfucking press room, nigga, and you shoot, it don't even look at shooting the arms. Matter of fact, you understand me? We let you know right now, it is the press room. You get a press you right now. Mean? Fuck out of here. Niggas walk in like, yo, are you, pre- are you pressing the White House secretary? Mind your business. Yeah, well, she's the press secretary, nigga. She's getting pressed. Fuck out of here. She knew what it was she signed up. Huh? Trump's like, yeah, they use my line. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You knew what it was when you signed up. <laughs> yeah. Remember Trump was on SNL? Dancing the Hotline Blade? Uh, yes, he was. That was, that was <laughs> in quieter times. <laughs> That's so wild. They're going to have to have that in like, the textbook. Because the textbooks now are just going to be like, yo, Martin Luther King, the invented fam. peanut butter. Uh, the black people could arrive like in the... textbook's like a fucking Marvel comic. The textbook, like the 80% of the textbooks now are just going to be the Trump shit. And, gonna be like, and then this happened. Uh, and everyone was like, whoa. whoa. But then they was like, wait, if you act now, we'll throw it in. Corruption. Yo, how about some genocide, y'all? Yo, let's go. What's good? Hurricane came through, destroyed Puerto Rico. Fuck it. Yo, he treated Puerto Rico like it's like a boat. You know those houses that have boats in the back and shit, and they never take them out again. And shit's all rusty. He's like, fuck it. Low key, he's he he was hyped because he's like, oh, this is great. He's like, I could buy low, turn the whole shit into a golf course. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be litty. Mm-hmm. Have Daddy Yankee be my caddy. I call him Caddy Yankee. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we're gonna uh, gasolina over here. We're all going to the eight hole. <laughs> give, me the, give me the sandwich. You got Donald Mar driving his golf cart and shit. Don, like, come on, oh, bro. Mar, <laughs> do that thing where you do. Driving, driving the golf cart for Trumpito on the golf course. Yo. Niggas like, yo, stop singing the fucking reggae tone. Yo, I can't man. stand it. Yo. What about DR next? Play some bachate. So I think that's like a a meal of some sort. Yeah, I love bachato. It's my favorite. It's, is it like kombucha? <laughs> Is it a multi flavor? Like you know grains? what? I, I gotta make a confession right now. I have no idea what kombucha is. Kombucha? Is it a drink? Yeah, it's a drink. Is it vinegar? Somebody told me it was vinegar. That's disgusting. I mean, it, it's, it's, a drink of it's like a, it's like active ingredients. That's why it's like vinegar. It's supposed to be like shit. Yeast? That's it. Yeah, like some shit like that. I don't, I don't trust it. Babylon City. Yeah. Everything that if you, if you are eating or drinking something that did not exist five years ago or was not like commonplace word. Yeah. Nah, Babylon I'm, I'm good. I'm good. That's what people forget about Babylon things. Most like ninety nine percent of everything is it's Babylon, Babylon things. Thing, like oh, it on. has to prove itself. Come on, my to be. A, a divine, <laughs> a jotting, a jotting, not a Pure Babylon jotting, thing. You know, All right? <laughs> Tired of this. <laughs> Yo, kombucha, fucking. Oh, why niggas eat mad bacteria? Like, I understand like there's bacteria in your digestive system that is supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. Why are you putting more in? Like, do niggas not have enough bacteria in their guts? Like, what the fuck? Why am I eating Activia? Why are you niggas making me drink kombucha? Like, why am I eating? Because people are stupid. Think about day. it. Like, if you like, if you got like the wild gastrointestinal pain and shit, and now Jamie Lee Curtis does a fucking cartwheel onto your screen, <laughs> talking about yo, put these bacteria. In your stomach, you start farting. You're like, yo, oh, work. She shot down a helicopter. True lies. I believe her. I believe her. Uh, she just kicked Mike Myers like 20 times. Uh, shout out to everybody that was like getting on my neck because Bitcoin, it was like, yo, it went up, yeah, then it went down, then it went down, it went back up. Yeah. But I'm telling y'all, tulips, 23 me, not 23 me. Tulips, wake up now. Mm-hmm. It's a bubble, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's a bubble. I'm telling yeah. you. I'm telling you. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh when y'all niggas. Ooh. Watch how many niggas going to get Bitcoin for Christmas. Like, like, See, yeah, that's the thing. People are, like, people are just buying Bitcoin at the bodega. Shit, they don't know what the fuck they're buying. Like, what are you doing? They're like, yo, is this a blockchain? Like, yo, here's a chain from a nigga on my block. Good like, looking, yo. Use this shit. This shit yo, regulates your shit. Let me get the phone card so I can call Motherland and shit. And let me get, um, let me get two Lucy's and five Bitcoins. Poppy going to give you Bitcoins back. <laughs> like Canadian Pepe. <laughs> like, oh. Hey, hold 
dollar. He's like, yo, what the Papi, fuck is that? Yeah. This is a big coin. Uh, it's a big, he it's give big you, coin. You got to be tight. You got a Canadian nickel, a fucking Sacagawea dollar, and a Bitcoin. <laughs> Try to break that, asshole. <laughs> yo, Papi Rose, no Bitcoin. No, thank you, Bitcoin, man. Miss Belisha. <laughs> you be like, yo, let me get changed for this. He's like, Papi, I don't have any. I don't know. Nigga, because you 10 Dominican pesos back. Like, you try to break a 20, he give you mad Bitcoin. Uh, what, yo, what am I supposed to do with this? This, this shit is 10,000. Oh, now it's 1,000. Now it's 500. What uh, the fuck, bro? You got to like, <laughs> it's just fluctuating in value. I'm just trying to put it down on the table. Like, like, uh, 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 damn, ooh. I can buy the whole store. Oh, uh, damn, I can't buy a bag of chips. Oh, uh, shit. Ooh. What's the floor for Bitcoin? Zero? <laughs> Negative valuation? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> And then people are like, well, what about the flat economy that is American money? You go with American money pretty much anywhere you go. Yeah. Even when you go to other countries and they're like, yo, we have our own money. You pull out a crisp 20, they're like, oh, hey, hey, okay. okay. Even though nice most places, they gas us. Because like, if they know their money is worth more, they're like, yeah, we'll take your little pit yeah, full. Yeah, come here. Yeah, come here. Come you here, get no here. change back. Yeah, we'll get Talking about you, Canada. You used to be yo, like that. Yo, you owe me a quarter. Canadian. Shout yeah, out to countries right. and your money is mad colorful like fucking seashells or shit. Word. Niggas can't figure shit out. Word. Your coins make no sense. Your, your quarter is about the size of a nipple. <laughs> like the dime is like the size of like a teat. Shout out to every country that has like ten thousand dollar bills and they're just like in circulation while yeah, brazy like yeah. you know what I mean like, <laughs> like eventually you just got listen every now sometimes you fuck up your profile on like a video game and like you know like maybe you got too many L's you got too many simulated games and shit the, the ratio is off you gotta start over oh, it's love, like if the exchange rate in your country is like one to ten thousand yeah. no shave a zero off that fuck it dude they gonna be like you can't do it it's your country you can do whatever what you, do you want you what the fuck you mean just tell like yo like we about to come out with Usain Bolt dollars in Jamaica <laughs> That this is, you gotta be embarrassed with when you look at the exchange rate, it's like one to five fifty thousand. Yeah, like, come oh, on, man, that's shit. not real money. Damn, bro. Kids is a little lost. They're like, yo, he go run to the store. Here's twenty thousand dollars. Get a loaf of bread. Like, uh, no. Bring my change back, nigga. That's, all that's, fifty thousand dollars. Like, what? That's a Jetta. <laughs> mm. Yo. Oh Ooh. God. Just talking about that talking being about said, money and shit. You know what I'm saying I'm gonna be at DR spending two thousand dollar bills like crazy. <laughs> Can you spend big money like that in DR without like, attracting the, uh, the attention the, of the locals? The atracadores? Yeah, pro- I mean, probably. I mean, like, if you run around, like, and it's clear that you are armed and you run around a bunch of goons, like, you'll be straight. Okay, but if yeah. you're not. If you're not, then you're fucked. You're That's why I don't recommend, like, if you're not from there or, like, you don't have a plug there, like, don't just be out there running around, spending money, buying pussy and shit. Like, you're going to get robbed. Okay. Early. That's like, niggas it. will come on your porch. Like, there's you no should, respect. Niggas you have no should respect. set up a little service for a, niggas. To, to keep niggas safe? Like, goon All niggas service. Niggas. Go, goon service? Like a go- goober. So when you yo, touch goober. down and shit, you guys like, yo, yo, your posse is five minutes away. <laughs> 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 niggas pull up with the AKs. Yo, what's like, good? Yo, yo, what up? Bro? Yo, oh, that's okay. good. Okay, cool. Right, let's go. Hey, uh, you know, I bought a machete. That's five stars. How are you going to get me? I got a mini USB there, so you can charge your phone. Damn, I got to go to Jamaica. Let me get the goober XL. Niggas come with the fucking pickup truck with the Gatling on the back. They're like, that's unnecessary. Pattern tank tops on this show. They're like, yo, a few. Well, oh, pro, oh, search. They'll throw in a child soldier for free. Oh, okay, nice. well, oh, let's go. Oh, I like the guy with the dilapidated flip flops. Let's mm. get him. He looks like a goon. I can just bust mad shots yeah, in the air at the bro. airport for like, no nah, reason. Nah, for no reason. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's the same as niggas picking up your suit. You know when they meet you at the luggage with your like, name oh, on it? Thank you. I'll take your. They see sir. you coming through off the plane. They just love mad shots. And blah blah blah. Everyone gets on the ground. I'm like, oh yes, sir. Oh, oh, I am Jesus. Oh, oh. Okay. Right this way, oh yes, yeah, so, uh, it's a black suitcase on the carousel. Yeah, thank you. Shaking my head. He's like, yes, yes, yes. Niggas trying to hold the AK. You so good. Niggas got, like, the the got your name on the AK. Like, yo. <laughs> Welcome to the country. <laughs> yo. Oh, shit. Niggas need goons. You need goons. Bro. You need goons anywhere. You could get that in America. For real. Shit. Imagine you be at a beef in the club and then you call Goober. And he's be like, yo, come outside. I'll be like, Four more minutes. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, Terrell and the Pele Pele will be here in two. Okay, minutes. yeah, nice. You outside like, mm-hmm. oh, Terrell. Hi, I'm Jesus. Nice to meet you. Right. <laughs> what up now, pussy? Yeah, yeah what's good? What's yeah, good? Yeah. What's that shit you was talking yeah. now? It's talking real spicy, nigga. And I got Terrell and I'm here, nigga. They all got pellied out. Yeah, they all what's got the soda now? clubs, nigga, and the wild guns with the fucking duct tape on handles. So you look at the note. It says like, yo, your goober may be hearing impaired. You're like, oh fuck. Oh, this nigga stacking like oh. that shit. I'm like, oh shit. Oh. And he's got the Halloween candies on deck. Yeah, kid. Shout out to Miro. Miro doesn't no longer is devouring. Candies at an astronomical rate. Uh-huh. Do you remember when we was on? Uh, I guess this would be 2016. Miro mm-hmm. was quite on his way to losing a limb oh, to yeah. the sugar bloods, mm-hmm. as they call them. Now I'm just eating Miro, like sushi and shit. Remember when Reese? Who was it? Reese sent us. Kit, oh, Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Reese, if you want to send shit, yo, send shit, please, because. This is the holiday season. No, no, no. That's not how it works. No more. <laughs> the price done went up. Those set me. Those set me tw- uh, five dollars worth of right no. kicks. Kit Kat. Send me the seasonal. World's largest Reese's, something like ten. 
10 packages Not 10 Don't send them nothing for free You have to go through your lawyer Because if you eat them And you put them on your Instagram And you don't put hashtag uh, Ad I'm going to contact the FCC <laughs> Okay That's what I do Why do you just put hashtag ad? Like do they you have, have to? to? You have legally to? Required to? Really? That's the other thing about Bitcoin Now is that the IRS is going to go back And they uh, go retroactively tax people on it that's what people nah, I don't, listen. You can't what, get money and don't think that the kids are gonna come for this. I was comfy, that's true. So I'm just saying, you know what I mean? People, but sometimes you could tell on Instagram if people got paid to do a fucking post and they trying to be like, yo, Ma, you didn't just decide to put the fucking charcoal toothpaste shit up, okay? No. That's gross, by the way. It's very bad for your teeth. I'm gonna brush them. Why you brush these with charcoal? It's mad abrasive. It literally rips the enamel off your teeth. Yeah, you know what? what? If you want to have terrible teeth and look like you know you totally spent your whole life drinking Mountain Dew, the fuck is wrong trying with to break into your stepmom's opioid lockbox. Do well, that. I mean, you do that with your fucking charcoal teeth. You just brush your teeth with soap. Did you know that? <laughs> wow. Did you know that if you took the amount of opioid over what is it, the opioid overdoses mm -hmm. in the nation? Okay. Do you know? Who would have the second num second largest number of opioid problems in a nation other than West Virginia? Because West Virginia's first. West Virginia's always number one. They you keep, know what they it keep that title forever. You know what it be? New York? The South Bronx. The South Bronx? Yeah. Actually, the Bronx. We got the wild opioid problem, but it's not reported the same way as... Uh, because you know why? Because it's f dog food. It's not fucking pills. And that's the whack shit. It's like, that shit's been happening in the Bronx for years, mm -hmm. and nobody gives a fuck. When your titi's strung out on dope, nobody cares. When it's fucking Tyler, and he's strung out on oxycodones, and he failed math two time, two semesters in a row, everybody's up in arms. It's true. But hey. It's true. I'm just seeing, I'm just calling it like I see it. More drug overdoses in the last year than any other New York City borough. Damn. Yeah, you know what, but all they talk about is Staten Island. Yeah, oh, Staten Island. Oh, the only problem. Oh, 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 Peter's on Oxy. Peter's off Oxy's. We got to stop him. They had a. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not funny, but. <laughs> it's real. You know what I'm saying? It's real. Listen, not everything on this podcast is fucking right, funny. Nigga. Life is not funny. Shining a light. You ever stop and think about what if the other sperms pulled back? Uh -huh. And I was like, yo, let that nigga impregnate the egg because they you know knew. I mean? They knew. They need us. What if the oh? What if the sperms colluded against niggas? Mm -hmm. Think about that. Think about it, like the other sperms was giving each other money. Like yo, let's just yeah, chill, chill, chill. win. I'm taking Matt a dive. Russian, you know what I mean? Like, like don't worry. Don't Matt worry. Russian bots near scrotum. We just gonna run it. We gonna run down her leg at the end of the night. Don't worry. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in and out. Like, but this sperm come in there like yo, this party's whack. This this is, yo, this shit, yo, it's mad dudes in here. Nah, this is a dub. That's the only. She's the only chick? Niggas like two eggs here. The fuck? The fuck? Niggas came all the way down the fallopian? Nah, fuck this. Nah, Fuck that. I ain't ejaculate for this. I heard there's a party on her butthole. Let's go. We out. We out. This is lit. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Yo, Spurs is out. Oh, shit. What's Meryl's tongue doing here? Oh, wow. Wow. In wow. The butt, in the butt. In the butt. In the butt. What, 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 what? what? <laughs> Il Mero is eating the butt, butt from butt. the back. Oh yeah, we could fuck around and record like a wild cheesy song, and that shit would we'll crush. Crush. Tell y'all, man, the brand is very strong. Let me eat your butt. Eat, eat your butt. butt. Eat, eat it. Butt. Eat, eat that. Eat that butt. Eat that butt. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Look we just that. get some Muppets to Come on. record that so it's like family friendly. Imagine your kids walking around all day singing, let me eat that butt. Yeah. That's our goal now, to make the most annoying songs for little kids to sing. Okay, yeah. wait. I love it. Yeah. Actually, you have kids, so. Yeah, I mean, I we'll don't mind. we test it off of them. I don't mind. They, I mean, they, you got to find something else to sing. They, I found a new way to annoy you. I'm getting uh, all three of your son's drum sets for Christmas. <laughs> So enjoy that, you fat bastard. That <laughs> should be kind of lit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, I'm like, noise doesn't bother me. But. You're Dominican, or you are a noise. Yeah, You're I'm, literally the human embodiment of noise. I'm like, if I pop you right now, it's going to be like, whip I'm, I'm a sound wave. I'm a walking sound wave. Sick of the key, I'm like the guy from Transformer with the nigga turns into the cassette. <laughs> <laughs> Was that his name, sound wave? No, uh, yeah, sound wave, but like in the, ta the text name, the tape was named something. Or was the tape sound wave? I think the tape was sound wave, bro. Are you talking about the yellow car? No, it was Bumblebee. Okay, yeah. but there was a transformer that, like, all of them turned into yeah, cars. Yeah, Soundwave was the one he had, like a like he was a micro micro cassette recorder. <laughs> kids don't know what the fuck that is. Fuck out of here. That used to Turn be the, that, that. that used to be the wave. 
All right, that and a, co- a fresh listen, two double A batteries, a fresh pair of Kobe headphones, <laughs> and a Walkman. Not a good one. One that only had fast forward. Yep. It's f- it had stopped playing fast forward because you was poor. What well, I mean? It was poorly constructed. It sure. fell once on the subway. That's it. It's over. Maybe you tape it up, but then the door could never close back. Nah. You could never listen to your cassette. And never put me in your tape if it if your tape eats. <laughs> never put me on your box if it eats tapes. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Yo, oak, oak, yo, that was a struggle we back on the. I'm glad that I. I you know what another struggle was? A little. Here's a little more updated struggle for y'all. The mini discs. Mm. The Sony mini discs. Out the people who had like. People were like that was the future. Of yeah, music. I was like, I was nah, like, nigga, nah, this is a tiny floppy nah. disc. Every now and then, there's a technology you fuck with, and you you know right off the rip, you're like, this is not the wave. Fam, as soon as I bought like a 500 gigabyte Zune, I was like, oh my god, Zune. This is not gonna. This is not gonna be long. Zune was like, uh, ugh, mm-hmm. I fell for that too. I mean, remember I like, o- hey, just drag and drop. It's super easy. Oh my god, do you remember I Omega zip drives? Uh, uh, with boo. the like fat zip disc shit. Yeah, get out of here. here. Fuck out of here. Get out of here. That's right. 250 How megabyte th- shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, I got pedo clips bigger than you. I remember this girl had it at my college, and she put, like, she was like, I need to get, like, fall off it. And she put it in, and it made the click of death noise. And it was like, uh, click, 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 click. I was like, ooh, that's not good. Quiet. She was like, what do you know? I was like, hey, yeah, listen. I was like, listen. All I know is you not get your file, ma. <laughs> hey, you want to take that attitude to tech support? Oh, it doesn't exist yet. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, Damn, imagine life. Zoom. Computer life without tech support? Pre tech support? Nah, you had to. That was when for real niggas. When you had to do it yourself and fix your own computer. <laughs> fix your own computer! None, none of this taking it to the Apple store. No! That's what Apple wants. Apple doesn't want you to be able to repair your own computer. Oh, no. So they can. Apple and Google. And Amazon are perf- are all working together to make the world stupider, mm-hmm. so we're more reliant on them. That's and true. I'll take it to a next level. A- uh, Google and Amazon, because they have Alexa and Google Home, mm-hmm. they do not want people to remember how to use search engines, so we won't know how to use Boolean or operators such as and, or, and not, which we will need to defeat the androids, because the only way you can defeat androids and robots are through a logic bomb or a logical paradox. Ah, and they just kind of get stuck in a... Woo. I just hyperloop. pulled that out of my ass, but they get stuck in a, in a hyperloop. There you go. You gotta make them. You gotta make. You gotta tell them like, be quiet and scream at the same time. And they're like, oh, ah, ah, ah. I did not murder her. Everybody's trying to do that though. It's like, like even beyond computers, like car companies, everybody. But you know what it is the dumbing of America? Because like, if kids don't instead of like knowing how to search for shit now, they're just like, Alexa, play this. Alexa, what's that? Even the Alexa commercials and the Google Home commercials, the people it takes them longer to ask Google Home and Alexa to do the shit than it would to just look at your phone or you look out it. the window for the weather. Yeah, bro. You could just stick your arm out the window instead of being like, what's the weather like today? <clears throat> Damn, I'm turning into the wild old man just uh, ranting just, about. Just screaming at the sky? Yeah. Uh, technology. Like, oh, technology is going to kill us all. And now, what's the thing? What's the, uh, listen, there's a perfectly good sidewalk over here. Why do these little youths huh? need to walk on my lawn? What's going on? There's nothing on the lawn. I just remember feeling washed and feeling mad angry because I used to have a 94 Jeep Cherokee and every time something got fucked up on a car, I would just open up the hood, look around, fix it myself. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Those days no, are over. No, no, it's over. B. Everything is a computer. It's a chip. You gotta un- take the casing off to this and that. And I'm, I'm lost in the sauce. Now I gotta take this shit to the dealer every time. Sad. Six sad world. Six sad world. Six yeah, sad world. It. Can't even fix your own car anymore. But you gotta go to fucking UTI for six months to learn how to fucking change a windshield wiper. That's how they want it. That's how they want it's it. Disgraceful. Man. They don't want you to win. Shut the UTI. Not that UTI. Oh, I thought you was talking about. I mean, these people need to. <laughs> Pick better names for when they name stuff. Yeah, like what? Okay, I understand. Univer- what is it? Univer- University Tech Technology. Technology. Institute. A lot of those things are scams, though. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just like, yo, they're like, because any place that's like, yo, we guarantee we're going to help you find a job afterwards, that's not how school works. That's not how school works, like, man. We could send you a couple of resumes, but we ain't placing you. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> they're like, oh, come be a teacher at the school now. I'm like, that's not what I wanted that's to not, do. No. I'm an audio engineer. I want to make the next Kendrick Lamar Come album. Come on. When you actually, you're just a rapper. You was like, yo, if I'm the rapper and the studio engineer, I'm going to pay no studio time. I'm going to pay no niggas. Ah, niggas uh, ain't thinking about that. <laughs> to your dumbass guy, I'll keep running back in and out the booth trying to adjust the med levels and shit. Come on. Like, do I sound good? Hold on, hold on. How about now? How about, how about now? Catch me outside. How about now? Huh? Huh? This is good? Oh, man. When you go to school to learn how to be a SoundCloud rapper, then something's gone wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you just come in and you're like, yo. Do they have UCB for SoundCloud rappers? They should. Like, can you be, uh, can you learn how to be like a SoundCloud? Yeah, that's probably, you can, Hell yeah. you can learn to do anything. For real? Come on, B. Like, I remember 
go into Scratch Academy. Shout out to Scratch Academy. Go to Scratch oh, wow. Academy back in the day. Scratch like, Academy. You'll be like, yo, you gotta teach you niggas pay to come learn how to be a DJ? Like, okay, that's so well, I mean, shit. it's like a it can be viewed as like an instrument where there's theory involved mm-hmm. and practice. Okay. But you know, the only, the best way to learn how to DJ is just watch the opening of juice. That's it. That's it. Just watch that. You don't even gotta have a turntable. Just do it with your hands. And then when you get, a, then go to the guitar center and scratch it as much as you can until they throw you out. You're like, hey, whoa, 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 wait, what you doing? You just get an now that computer's all that shit for you. You don't even gotta learn how to like scratch and no, do anything. No, learn real scratching. No. Don't be pressing no button that auto mixes. <laughs> ah, I'm a truther. <laughs> I'm a DJ purist. Listen, when I'm I, jockeying discs. When I come to the next time I DJ, I'm gonna come with those, you know, those big oh, turntables that the no, the turntables that got the horn built into it. No, that you got a hand crank. I'm a DJ <laughs> with two of those. You have to say, like, oh, no, cro- I'm the crossfader. Like, ah, no. type BO is your mixer, niggas just cranking both things. Like, I'm mean, like, saying you have to walk. What for you shit. kids you have to walk. What you kids know about this? You just, you're just like. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Play another one. Classic shit from the 40s, okay? What? What if you it? came here to hear Future, if you came here to hear Little Yachty, yeah. yo, fuck them niggas, yo. It's all Count Basie, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Dude, we ain't playing sure. nothing above 1950, the real hip hop. That's right. Play some little pop. Yo. Fuck out of here. You watch me up? Yo. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about this here. I'm here to teach y'all something. Yo, this sounds like Boardwalk Empire music, nigga. Turn this shit up. Yo, you know what? Just for that. Just for that. I got this exclusive remix. Paul Robinson, Old Man River. Let's go. <laughs> you know who you rocking with. This shit's whack. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. How about some Helen Kane? I want to be loved by you. Yeah, yeah. I got the deep cuts right here. Let's go. Yo. DJ Viola. <laughs> Damn, clothes must have been whack back then. So Imagine whack. when there was like prohibition and then chicks couldn't like show their ankles and uh, shit. Oh man. Why would you walk into a, why would you want to walk into a club as soon as you walk in here? But niggas just mad coked up and shit. Niggas just on mad drugs. So I always thought when I was younger, I was like, damn, all these films were like they show white people with like flappers and shit, they're dancing while OD fast. I was like, the film take not like nah, them niggas were all drugged up. Yeah, it was cool. You know what else? Cause also the world almost ended because of depression, so niggas was trying to party. Yeah, that's true. Like niggas was selling their kids. For potatoes, like <laughs> you, you can't really recover from that. Oh, little Timmy got he got polio. I'm Imagine your parents put you up for sale and no one buys you. Now you come home, you mad. Your parents is mad at you. Like, you like, yo, ma, you really trying to sell me? Yeah, I was I trying to get, a, like, I was trying trying to get, get some a, money <laughs> with your little ugly ass. I was trying to get a pint of rum. See, <laughs> <laughs> yo, we're mixing like nine different topics. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, so during the Dust Bowl and then the Black Ages came. Yeah, come on. The niggas had called Black Plague and, uh, you know, and, like, and then they had segregation and then feudalism. That's it. I remember Rosa Parks <laughs> was told by the surf to get to the back of the get to the back of the garden. Yo! They get some feudalism! Damn. That was a yo, feudalism is You're a wave. We need to bring mad, it back though. Yeah, yeah. Think about it. You have okay, it's kinda like slavery. Okay. Yeah, it is slavery. Yeah, but it is. think of if I own imagine you own property, you like, yo, I'm gonna let you live here. You just reactivated like my sophomore year brain. All you gotta do is like, yo, just pick you know, just take care of the garden and shit. That's it? It's just all it is is a super. That's it. You're just a living super. That's it, bro. And then it's just like, yo, like when they're like, Oh, I wanna buy something, be like, Oh, that's what's up. I made a bodega in the back. So you So go- what you could do is some of the stuff that the money you earn yeah. pick the, for the vegetables where I don't take from the rent yeah, yeah. you could buy from me yeah. I got your stuff there it's like kind of like commissary a little bit except yeah. you're not in jail except you, you are could go at, you could leave at any time yeah but then I'll but, kill you yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's bring it back I always see that on like those video games because those ads on from TV for like phone games they yeah. always look mad lit they're like Asian Empire Asia shit Vemma. it's like fucking some Pino star nigga like, said Asian Empire <laughs> yo fam, me and my brother co- connected two computers that my dad found in the garbage had, built, had like a <laughs> Local area network and used to head to head play Age of Empires for hours. Me, shout out to Tito. Mad gooned out, like mad high, like playing Age of Empires. Like, yo, nigga, I need more wood, nigga. Uh, yo, son, send me some soldiers, nigga. I need to defend myself against this invasion, B. Damn, man. Because <laughs> this is what I was talking about for the iPhone, but what? okay. <laughs> All right, you old ass nigga. This nigga connecting via fucking a parallel port on an Atari. It's a true yeah. Story. Oh, shout, nah, you know, shout out to the LAN parties. You, you know, know what I'm really? saying? Real nigga. You're not a real nigga if you never carried a tower to someone else. This house are plugged in. <laughs> hey, hey, you got a surge protector? Hey. <laughs> I heard there's lightning in the area. You don't want to lose my. I need uh, a two turn uh, output. Uh, 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 does anyone have an uh, extra VGA cable? Uh, <laughs> I put my ViewSonic monitor. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I, I can't connect to this network. What's the lag on here? What's the latency? 
Do you guys don't have 56K yet? Oh. <laughs> she, got, she got files. <laughs> Oh, no. What the, so we've talked about opioids. We've talked about file formats. Sure. And now we're talking about uh, multiplayer. We're talking about wild, wide area networks. <laughs> Shout out to our new sponsor, the TCP slash IP yeah. stack. <laughs> what was that old computer store? Um, All of them. Right? No, what, CompuServe. There was CompuServe. There was Gateway. CompuSA. CompuSA. Damn. Damn. Radio Shack's still around. Do uh, they even still so they don't sell computers? No, All Radio Shack is like a junkyard, bro. <laughs> you walk in there, it's like just mad buckets of like Shot wires. The <laughs> <laughs> the can- Radio Shack will have like an adapter that one person needed one time. One time and you get it, you like, hey, what fucking situation would I ever need this? They're like, yo, you uh, if you, you want to take your phone co- to Somalia, you're gonna need this. <laughs> like, you want a cord with two headphone ports? I'm like, how? What? Did, how do? You, what do you plug this into, bro? I'm walking in there just picking up wires. I'm like, this is like the 35 millimeter like two ended joint like what and it's an inch long i'm like what can i need this for possibly Fam, i bought a hundred foot audio cable <laughs> <What>? <laughs> like why would you it was like no i don't know if it was a hundred it was od long and it was just like yo the sound quality was not like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, what's going on? Like, it's mad week. Like, they were like, you need to boost the signal. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, I, didn't, I thought 100 feet was all Shout out to G Steel, because we, we used to DJ. We would go to uh, come to people's houses, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Set yeah, up the like, speakers in the back. Yeah. You know, DJ. <laughs> shit was terrible. He was just using the Sound Blaster oh, card, you know what I mean? Fair. Radio Shack? I mean, they saw other things. Doesn't Nick Cannon right? owns Radio Shack now, right? Yeah. He was on our show talking about it. Number one show at late night. Yeah. Another one last year. Yes, mm-hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mm-hmm. You know what it is. I don't know how to say ox say less. We don't got to advertise the show. The show sells itself. That's right. You see Stupid. us at the garden. White people's coming up like, I love the show. Number one I show. I love it. I love it. Okay? I love it. Except for the one jerk off who's like, oh, excuse me, bro. These are my seats, bro. Can you just like scooch down? First of all, I tell my kids to scooch down. Yeah. Don't ever tell me scooch. Yo, nigga. you're a grown man. I'm punch you in your gooch. And you tell me to scooch, I'm going to slap you right in That's your fucking it, mouth. Open okay, hand. I'm some jail shit. Like a, some hard world star <laughs> shit. Because you disrespected me. <laughs> you disrespected me in front of my kids. Come on. Nah, yo, your man came through with that energy, and can I just say, I always say this on the show, God's working on all of us, mm-hmm. God has definitely worked on me and Miro, because mm-hmm. if that was Jesus versus Miro, uh, nigga, I got Jesus and Miro, uh, boy. we'd be doing this shit live from, live from Bookings, what's good, nigga, yeah, what up? it's the world's most illustrious podcast yeah. called Knock a Nigga Out Radio, Oof the mic. you know what I'm saying, we are here live, yo, I just stole like mad culinary shit from the uh, kitchen, <laughs> so for the next 20 minutes, just listen to a sharper shit, you know what I mean? Yo, listen to me making tuna. That's right. We got special guest from C Block. We got Big D. Yo, he's gonna fuck the shit out this little Susie over here. <laughs> What's going on? Yo, I'm about to fuck the shit out this glove, nigga. Oh, what's up? Yeah. It's good. Yo, shout out to the sponsor, Uline, for providing the yeah, gloves. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Shout out to right. Craft, you know what I mean? About to fuck the shit out this bed frame. You okay, did? now as a certified. Uh, a glove fucker uh-huh. Like what are some of the tips For niggas that want to fuck gloves Well first of all The tip The most important tip Is the tip of your dick You feel me So you gotta put that. that shit In the glove Don't let it ever exit the glove Cause then you might catch Your foreskin or your banjo string On the bed frame That would be very painful For you to endure You know what I'm saying True 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 That's a fact Correction isn't punishment That's, That's a true, fact true. That's a fact True You know what I mean You could use just a little Susie in the shower The Vaseline is waterproofing You dig So basically what you do Is you go in the shower You work up a You know what I'm saying A very hefty uh, erection yeah. And then you penetrate the glove You know what I mean Use utilizing your left hand mm-hmm. if you righty, and if you lefty, you utilize your right hand to give you a, a, a sense of entitlement. You know what I mean? Inmates behind him are true, true. <laughs> That's a fact. That's preach, a fact. preach, preach, preach. Teach these devils. <laughs> Yo. Chichi Susie's. Yo, shout out to everybody in jail fucking gloves instead of fucking each other. Well, I mean, it depends. You know what I mean? I mean Just keep the disease rate low. I mean. <laughs> Let's keep the, that's your the PSA. Sexual, let's hope, keep the sexual uh, the transmitted disease. I'm gonna print up a poster of you like, hey guys, <laughs> let's keep the de- disease rate disease rate low. They once Hang tried to uh, distribute condoms in a jail in Jamaica and it led to riots. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah, think me a fussy man, huh? You think me a batty man, huh? Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's that's I mean, literally what the. I mean, that's you know, what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a while ago. That was it was at ninety seven or some shit like that. Damn. Yeah. Throwback. Yeah. Six inmates were killed. Damn. Yeah. That's like when they try to ban cigarettes on Rikers. They didn't try to. <laughs> they did. They definitely did. <laughs> they got that, rid of that. They got rid of weights and shit. Yeah. So now all you do is like w- fucking gamble yeah. and watch uh, fucking tele novelas. You can't go on Twitter. In Rikers. <laughs> Can you hear me winking? <laughs> ding, ding. Ding, ding. 
Yo, one TV for the Ricans, other one for the blacks. Only cows get some for the jack. Only cows get talked too greasy and be mumbling back. Damn, that style speech shit is. Taking, yeah, taking me back to but a if, dark you, place. if you mind your business and don't gamble, you should be, be all right. right. Just, be all right. That, that's the big thing. You get bored. It's idle time. Yeah. So now, like, do you come in? You like, yo, I'm not talking to niggas. I'm just staying my cell. I'm gonna read these fucking. I'm gonna read the Forty Eight Laws of Power. You know what I'm Bruh. saying? Next thing you know, you out here gambling on niggas. That? You got different fucking handshakes for niggas on. Yo, yo, what up, Skitty Black? Yo, yeah, yeah, it was good. It's like a baseball team good. Shit, uh, like. <laughs> You started having fucking fucking banter with the CEOs and shit. So, <laughs> Officer Johnson, how's yeah. your daughter doing? Man, that's it. It's basically a traveling baseball team. When hey. you go to jail, you're good. You just got handshakes. Everything's cool. You know what I mean? You got the, oh, you all got the same uniform on. You're repping the same set. Yeah, you know? that's true. That's true. <laughs> Y'all fucking the same hoes. <laughs> Same CEOs. Whoa! You see the CEO that got pregnant and uh, is being got is su- is getting sued now by an inmate. Yeah, because she got pregnant. Well, because it wasn't consensual. Oh, yeah. She was like, "Yo, you gotta smash me." No, oh, CEO can it can never be consensual I'm between if oh, you're a prisoner right, yeah, and CEO. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're in a position of power. Yeah, but see, like the, some of the prisoners know that. I'd be like, oh, yeah. All right. yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. technically, that guy don't gotta pay child support. Oh, damn. Mm. Tis a dirty game. <laughs> Tis a dirty game, the game of CO and prisoner sex. <laughs> to hear to her, to hear to her. That's a Lord of the Rings you don't want to see. Nah, you don't want to see that at all. I mean, I feel like if you were in jail for mad long, or prison, excuse me, for mad long, and you had the opportunity to fuck some actual, like, choach, if you're a heterosexual, you know, inmate, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. why wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. I thought you were about to say something deep, but no, it's the Meryl show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, not saying that. Just like I said, if you you have a chance to have sex, you should have sex. Yeah. Why not? (laughs) You say it is a career day, niggas is like, boo! (laughs) Boo! How the fuck this nigga get any money? (laughs) Put this shit on a t-shirt, should I go platinum? (laughs) If you have the chance to have sex, have sex. That's why problematic. Somehow that's gonna get taken out of context, context. on Twitter. <laughs> and oh, they gonna be like, oh, so if you have the chance to have sex, uh-huh. whenever you have the chance. Oh, word. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it should be understood that chance means consensual sex between two. Why don't you put adults. that on the original T-shirt now? Now you no, backpedal it. That's See, Miro always does this. Miro says such a problematic, and then much. he backpedals. Okay, uh-huh. then he says shit on Instagram live, and he writes it all cast at DK. That's why I don't like him and other Dominican niggas because all they do is lie, cheat, and smoke hookah. <laughs> You're just like, whoa, what the, whoa, 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 what, whatever. Did you have you shout out people telling on themselves because uh, about the Cam and Juju split. After 10 years, he was like, yo, it was not fun no more. Mm. Everyone was like, after 10 years, you're going to tell me this shit's not fun? What? Wow. As an adult, you should enjoy that. Someone was like, yo, rationally speaking, we had a good run for 10 years. This shit's not fun. Let's go our separate okay. ways. I mean, but they, were they married? They weren't married. They weren't married. Yeah, it was just a girlfriend. Cares. I mean, what if he, and then it's just like, what if he had just married her? Like, yo, fuck it. I've been here 10 okay, years. Yo, let me just stay. Why not? Then y'all be tight. Right? And then, yo, he's not, he's, not, he's not seeing her real worth. Why would you say that? Why would you marry somebody you want to really marry? That's a big commitment to make. And I saw a tweet for a ride. and some girl said something like, he's going to come back because Cam does not know what the world is like for a single 41-year-old male. Um, I mean, I think she'll forget the part where he's Cameron. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is going to have going up plenty of fish. Well, like, hi, my name's Cameron about? Giles. Yeah. I enjoy, uh, what? I enjoy, uh, making computers pew and, uh, sunset walks. What are you like, kidding me? Uh, my, my friends call me fleet. Like, nah, no, nigga, this nigga got a pink Lamborghini. Uh, okay. Get out of here! And then the people talking about, oh, Jay, why did Beyonce, Beyonce take Jay man, back? Man. Like, sh- you show it more about your insecurities and your problems because you over here are broadcasting, talking about, oh, this is why she writes songs like this. Like, yo, you don't. Nah. She got a team of writers. Y'all don't nah, know what's in the background. Know what's going on. How you on Twitter? Your life is a mess, but you know everything about Beyonce and Jay Z's life. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know what I had to say about this entire thing? Absolutely nothing, because I don't know anything about Jay Z. We don't Jay-Z know anything about them at all. We don't so, know not the. F- we don't know if Beyonce's feet stink. Who can, we don't who know knows? if like Jay Z likes to be inside the spoon. We don't know we don't none know. of that. We will never know. And that's our. We should not that's try it. to like speculate on that. Why, bro? Especially the problem. The problem is instead of talking about Jay Z and Beyonce, you talk about whatever fuck ass relationship you are in or in, last we're in, and then start putting those points in there. Talk about Beyonce probably tied a uh, Jay Z always leaving half. That's where it goes. That's where it goes. On my fucking duvet and shit and spilling, and he don't want to wash the shit up. And what the fuck? I've been talking about this shit for three years. What the fuck? Ah. And then also he be like making blunts in the microwave and be leaving like little pieces of marijuana and it's don't gross. wash the shit out. 
It's gross. It's and gross. Then I go to put my then food Blue in there. Ivy got to see that, and then like maybe Blue Ivy takes her lunch to the office, and now her lasagna smells like marijuana. You just there like. This is this, this doesn't is sound like yeah. This don't this don't sound like Jay and, at all. Yeah, I don't think Jay smokes weed. My favorite people are people who swear they know shit, and they be like, "I know, I've, like I, I I know." I know her, her cousin's cousin. I was there when he oh, checked into the hotel with the other girl. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, so you saw Jay-Z check into a hotel with a woman that was not Beyonce, and you ain't say shit until now? Okay. All right. Also, there was no other people there. There's no no TMZ wasn't there. It's just Jay-Z no. pulling up to a fucking Ramada yeah. with some yeah. random chick with Carrie Hilton. Hopping shit. out the Uber with oh, Carrie Thanks. Oh, hey. <laughs> thanks, this, this, boy. Yo, five stars for you, my nigga. Thank you. Yo, disconnect <laughs> my Spotify. I mean, title. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yo, come on, this shit's wild, man. And it's ill because, like, that's where it goes. It always gets into, like, wild personal people injecting mm -hmm. parts of their shit into it. I'm like, bro, I'm just going to sit this one out. You know what I'm saying? And let billionaires and, you know, handle their own business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would be mad funny if they were just, like, sitting in a back room. And also, this is me speculating, but whatever. If they're just sitting in a back room being like, yo, this is going to be the rollout for the next two years. Like, we're, you're going to drop lemonade. Seen of Hollywood. I'm going to drop, yeah. Uh, would you be surprised? Probable, you know I would saying? not be surprised. Not at all. Y'all niggas is gullible as shit. You know what I mean? All right? I used to be like, no, because me and you, we've always been haters and skeptics. Yeah, and everything on the Twitter that's good, we're like, mm -mm, nah, nah. I don't know about this. Nah. It's like that fucking, uh, what, I'm not racist? I know uh, fucking racist video. Yeah. We were just like, mm. and everyone else was like, this is so good. It's so strong. It's so good. This, this, is, this, this is such a message. This is what we need right now. Yeah. This is needed. From the rip, before I even heard this, I saw, I saw the title. I was like, fuck this song. Uh, get out of here. Fuck this. Get out of here. Like I said yesterday, fucking the shit is like Macklemore's Lane. Yeah. Like that introspective, <laughs> like bullshit, like, yo, oh, when I'm I was sorry, I'm white. The, the, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm white. Yo, I could draw so people I never I say was the N word, but they do, and I try to tell them not to. No. Yo, let gay niggas be gay. Nigga, nigga. Neither, neither. <laughs> like, fuck out of here, bro. Like, just shut the fuck up. Oh. Be mad listen. as fuck. Like, I automatically, when I see shit like that, I just automatically get transported like 15 years back. I'm standing in front of the bodega just angry yeah. and shit. Like, back when you could be dirty Bronx niggas and be yeah. like, yo, fuck out of here. This corny niggas shit. Come nigga come to school and like, career, like, yo, we're the positivity gang. We're here teaching diversity. Nah, fuck y'all niggas. Fuck that. I talk about negativity, nigga, because the streets are negative. Ooh. Dog. Say something positive. Well, positive ain't where I live. Yeah, I mean, uh. The only shit positive right here is the HIV. V rates, nigga. Ooh, fuck out of here, dog. The Junior Bronx. Fuck out of uh, here. <laughs> watch me clap, Miro. <laughs> Yo, where's wheelchair Jimmy at? Uh, I remember they once had like one of those positive gangs or whatever. They came to. No my junior high and they had like the white guy and he was breakdancing in the crowd I was like yo oh, the white yo, guy breakdancing was like lit oh. and they had like the lady in a wheelchair but she was doing like tricks and shit and it was just like yo I think it was something about like she you know she was it was she was doing wheeling around and shit cause it was something about um damn she's differently able yeah differently no it was a uh, they were it wasn't like Christian value. It was something about being good, good values or something. Cause somebody yeah. had gotten shot in the school or some yeah. shit like that. So wow, and I was, I was like, this is some fucking bullshit. I was like, these niggas probably don't even like each other. They don't. It's crazy because they do like the whole. It's like one of everybody. Like there's like we got the one black, black guy, guy, one Spanish Latino guy, guy, one white guy, one disabled Young person, lady. one like you know person who maybe has like some type of learning disability, one person with like you know the weird crutches that like the you one girl hold comes on at the and she's like, hey, you know, I hope you enjoy that. Why don't you go home and tell your boyfriend? Or girlfriend about it in the car. Yeah. I was like, whoa. 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 She kissing on another girl? Uh, whoa. whoa. It's crazy. They're breaking social norms. Oh, my teenage mind can't handle this. Oh, fuck. Let's just go into my bedroom and start playing Acoustic Green Day. Like, fuck. Oh. Do you have the time <laughs> to listen to me? <laughs> Father's like, no whoa, Green Day. Fuck, fuck out of here. No Green Day. <laughs> green sleeves, yes. No Green Day. I was like, I don't have a green guy. You listening to fucking Green Day? Get that shit out of here. Do you have the time? Fuck out of here. You have a time to listen to this bullshit and not have a job. My father was banging on the door while I was trying to put on the makeup for the My Chemical Romance concert. And shit. <laughs> don't come in here. Don't come in here. Dad, dad. When I was. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh my mother's like he's dressing like the crow again. Oh no. I remember watching some show I forgot. I cannot remember it for the life of me. But it was a dude, it was a dad, like forty year old dude, had a teenage son. Mm -hmm. It was a black dude, but his son 
was like on some wild gothic shit and he was wearing like the big ass U- like the niggas that dress like the Astro Pro- Place Cube niggas God, oh. with the wild like the UFO G- pants yeah, the yeah. the chains and shit you got the chain shit, to hold your, the, your the wild trench coat duster and oh, shit, <laughs> shit. With, the little, with the beanie with the flames on it the kids shit. at school that you're like yo one of these kids is gonna, gonna be the school shooter but <laughs> yeah. you get to know them and they're mad cool we all know them yeah. you get a one black kid that talks to the goth like yo what's up Jeremy he's yo, like what's up, what's up call me Dark Angel yeah. like, ah. <laughs> like a mix of like hood and goth and there shit. was a goth kid that lived in Baychester Projects yeah. when I went to leave it so he had to take the fucking bus home with us and he would just sit there but by Smack. the time it was time for us to, get, it was just me and him so I was like yo like, what up? I was like you live in the projects you're goth he was like yeah it's kind of hard <laughs> yeah, like the fags <laughs> yeah, like fag and shit yo. they don't respect me yo. but I was like yo that's so I was like Yo, you. I was like, you might be the hardest nigga out. <laughs> nigga, you were walking in Bay Chester Projects with the fucking with Matrix. The Manson, fucking <laughs> tra- like, Mad Pearson and shit. Niggas dressed like Lil Uzi before Lil Uzi. I was like, you were, you were Puerto Rican goth. Like, wow, wow. That's so crazy. Yo. Shout out to all my Puerto Rican goths out there. Shout out to Silver Phoenix, aka Jessica. You know what I'm saying? I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real person? Yes, it's a real person. Oh, man. Silver Phoenix. Nigga used to be at the Aston Place Cube, yo, with fucking her homeboy. And niggas just look at each other with the fangs and the blue contacts and be like, <laughs> and just like making like slithering noises. Yo, I'm sitting in the McDonald's. I was at St. Mark's right there. Oh, man. I'm sitting in the McDonald's on St. Mark's with all these niggas, and I'm just high as shit, bruh. And I'm just sitting with all of them. It's like 10 of them. And I'm sitting there eating my double cheeseburger. Niggas are like, they, they're eating the nuggets, like they open a 20 piece nugget, and they're just like grabbing them mad fast <laughs> <laughs> it's just like side <laughs> like chopping on them shit so I'm like yo oh, shit. y'all niggas ain't really vampires bro oh. like you don't gotta eat these niggas you don't gotta eat the nugs so aggressively my nigga like oh. you don't need to do this like oh. my cousin came from a uh, shout out to Birmingham and like <laughs> He, uh, we, I fucked his life up in like three days because he was like a soccer prospect. He was, uh, was so he came to town. He was like, oh, I have like some like tournament. I got. He was like, well, I got like three days. I was like, boom, I'm taking to open chilling. bars. Yeah, yeah. So we we run it through the city like Jack of Cokes all night. Like he's mad groggy, so he needs food. And I was like, oh, boom, Delancey McDonald's. Hey. I oh, beat these two girls there. And you get one, food and dog food at the McDonald's. So there's one girl. I keep smelling her because she smells like Lucky Charms, the cereal. <laughs> <laughs> like, like sniffing her or shit and my boy is talking to the other girl and she's like yeah we have to hurry up and get out of here before the sun comes up <laughs> yo get the fuck out of here <laughs> And I was like, yo. I was like, yo, that's the way you go with. <laughs> I'm going, oh, we're old Lucky Charms over here. Yo, we gotta get out of here. She was like, we all live. I was like in the Bronx. She was like, switch <laughs> <laughs> turns to a back and forth. Like we out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, I was like, you live in a coffin. How you just in the Bronx, Come on, man? Get the fuck out of here. Do some holy water on her before she left. She's like, ah, ah, it burns. Ah, ah t- this cheeseburger have garlic on it. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh. oh god I thought those niggas turning the Bronx into Castlevania uh, it took my cousin three days to recover for that one night of drinking <laughs> cause his whole life he had just been healthy and, and, like yeah. protein shakes and shit no. his mother called he was like mom what I feel well mom <laughs> I got him like a beef patty threw it up I was like damn you fucked up dog I'm quite chill mom <laughs> them, I think, what he, he, yeah, I think he wanted to be a firefighter or some shit. Okay, so niggas he, playing for Chelsea now and shit. He's a midfielder. His father was a professional. Uh, oh shit! Oh, but you know what? Every older West Indian person in it's England was like, football. "I was a professional footballer." Yeah. I was like, mm, "Okay, all right. uh, you're just lying to me because I'm stupid and American mm, and gullible." Yeah. I don't know. You know, you could lie to me and be like, "You were a professional cricket player." I would not know. Yeah, yeah. I would all I gotta like, see oh, if you're like an older West Indian guy with like a nice heavy wool vest, yeah. sweater kind of thing. I'm like, okay. Yo, you play cricket? Oh, oh, oh you were David Beckham. Sounds about oh, right. Oh, okay, cool. Why are you black? I thought David Beckham was a white guy, but whatever. Cool, I'm with it. Sounds. Like I don't it. see race. No, my soul is colorless, niggas. Right. <laughs> Yeah, Jay Yo, Jay's getting on that. He's he that to me that was like the tip of the iceberg when he said this shit. And now with that interview that he did, oh Jay Z, yeah, Scientology, yeah, bro. Jay Z and Beyonce need to right make their there. own Scientology. They like Jay Z smart enough he could create his own Hopology. Scientology. And we listen. If Beyonce tomorrow was like, yo, we got a new religion, the Church of B. I'm, I'm down. <sighs> if they if they got some Fuego merch, uh, yo, nigga, what? Like Memphis Bleak on the cross and shit. Yo, it's right. The Rangers bringing his water. Like, yo. <laughs> I get that. Yo. Yo, where's Christian? Yo, he's blessing the holy water in the back, yo. No Christian. Christian. No Christian. Is that it? Christian? No Christian. It's two people also. I was, really? Yes. Yo. You never know Christian was two people? What? Ghetto Cyrano. The classic. 
watching my life go down. Yo, that's two people. Yeah. Oh, you thought it was the same person? Just. Oh, I thought it was the dude on the left. The dude no, that looks both. like kind of like it's Vashti. Both. <laughs> it looks like Vashti's like all the Oh brother. shit, she, he does. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Shout out to Vashti. Yeah, um, yeah that's a great album. If you never oh, listened shit. to Christian Ghetto Cyrano, download wow. it or listen to it. I remember because that's when I worked at a Rocco fella and they couldn't, they didn't know how to market it. They could barely market rap. How are you going to market like R -R like adult? That was like ahead of this wave R&B. Okay. So, shout to hip hop, hip hop. Neil Kareem broke. Burks. Shut Damn, your man Flynn. Your man Flynn walking in to the, Flynn has entered the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C. Big walk? mood. Damn. Imagine you do you come in with a wild paparazzi behind you and shit. You like, yo, I'm coming in. They're like, what the fuck? Hey, hey, excuse me, there's hey, a line. Hey. There's a line. Take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> that line to get in the court is like mad buzzkill. Cause you, uh, if you live in a wild hot boy life, you pat yourself down, you might find like a fucking tray bag yeah. and shit. You're like, oh shit. Uh, That's when you do dumb shit like try to eat a bag of coke. Yeah. Don't eat a bag of coke. It's a terrible idea. But also don't try to just put in two bags of coke in a blunt. <laughs> and smoke it, I wouldn't recommend that. Nah, the trick is if you this is a, this is the wild jail nigga trick. <laughs> if you bite right here, like on the edge of your sleeve. Oh, you can put the thing in your hem, yeah. Yeah, you put it in the hem of your sleeve yeah. and then you could go through there. Unless yeah. they like x ray it and you fucked. Then you're fucked. now they're like, Oh, you was trying to hide something, and then you just be like, I need it for, I'm dope sick. Yeah, yeah, I'm dope sick. I, I have it. it. I need shock treatment. Come on, Bobby. They're like, You got sixty bundles in your butt, you don't got no shock Come treatment. Come on, nigga. Like you pulled up in the F one. I was like, <laughs> it's a crackhead F one though. Yo, come on, Bobby. This was an old one. I found it. It's I found that on Southern Boulevard, I'm, Bobby. Listen, Bobby, I'm I don't got McLaren money. <laughs> McLaren, I got as a stroller. Yo, Wyclef gave me this in Gohan Projects back in 87. Oh my god, imagine Wyclef really. <laughs> that story he was telling, imagine he did get. Whoever drives off of that F1 is getting clapped by the 47 precinct. Yo! Where'd you get this from? You know what I mean? Oh god. Oh no, oh no, no. Oh no! Oh no! Is that Little Vicious or Red Rat? No, yeah. it's Red Rat. No, it's Little Red Vicious. Red. Is, is it Red Red? Red? Uh, that's like every Jamaican song, though. We got a lot of them. That's hilarious, because shout out my nephew, Miles. Mm -hmm. Since his um, nanny is of West Indian descent, okay. he often walks around the house making the noises that an old Jamaican woman would make, mm. which is hilarious if you see a little three-year-old boy. Like, he'll drop his juice and be like... <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like what happened? The price of avocados went up. What's yeah, going on? What's going on? Dog? You guys need a fucking ramo de plato. Go ahead and just come. Like, <laughs> like, see, like, can you see Charlie? He's like, oh, poor Charlie. Mm. I'm like, what? I'm like, are we going to church tomorrow? Like, what is? Like, how old are you now? I'm a little sad. Yeah. Mm. He missed Rocco. Mm. I was like, oh wow, he totally. Did. I was like, how old are you? Oh, what the fuck? Are you a 50 year old woman? Mm. I feel like if you're West Indian and you have West Indian nanny, you can't really call it a nanny. It's just kind of like, yo, my aunt. That's just your aunt. Yeah. <laughs> my aunt I got here. some pictures of ladies and I was like, yo, that's my aunt. They're like, oh, she was not your aunt. <laughs> I was like, no, that was cousin. That was cousin. They're like, that's not. She wasn't related to you at all. I was like, yeah. she lived with us. It was like, true, but. Yeah, but no. You know, no. Like, what? Like, it was like, we were just sponsoring her. I was like, what? We're sponsoring? Yo, that literally, my crib was like, Ellis Island for niggas. Like I live with every single cousin that I have in my family tree. I you got to. Point. That's the that's the beauty of immigrants and yeah. families. You come up here, you know, someone else is established, yep. and then the next person comes, up. you help them get established. Then you know, you start doing the uh, anchor babies, yeah. and you know, white genocide. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of white people, one brown baby at a time. <laughs> yeah. White genocide. Yeah. Get rid of the crackers. Yeah. White genocide. To the yaku at the feet of attackers. Yeah. What the great nation you once had But now look at me in my G hat That's why I'm genocide that sounded more like the fucking cartoon, the theme from a wild problematic 80s cartoon. Uh, <laughs> that niggas look back retroact like, it was great. It was a little problematic. Uh, it was cool. Like, yeah, I mean, like, except yo. for the genocide shit. Uh, Macho Man Savage, come on, let's attack Jahalabad. Yeah. yeah dude. Like, what? It's like the special WWF crossover one. <laughs> like, what, why, are niggas, why are the biker mice from Mars bombing Iraq? Like, what's going on? Why is Captain Bucky over here in Lebanon? Come on, we got to kill the ISIS people. Come on, rescue rangers. Let's go. Chip and Dale, let's go. Let's do the Care Bear <laughs> Countdown. Five, four, three, two. Every nation. Ah, drone strike. <laughs> <laughs> it's Drony Bear. Oh, wow. <laughs> the lowest selling Care Bear of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Jody Bear. Uh, 
Shut the drones. Are drones passe now? Like, I remember, like, niggas was like, yo, let's get drones. Drones are lit. And now it's just like. For Americans, nobody's... drones are passe. Yeah. For anyone outside of America, drones are terrifying. Yeah. So it's funny what we use for recreation is how oh, we also so destroy terror. people nice. and other. Also, when did every war, any kind of. Any kind of engagement the United States has outside the United States is we're fighting terrorists. Mm, yeah, uh, it doesn't work like that. I don't think so. Like if someone gets shot in like a desert in Africa, they're like, oh, they got to fight the fucking jihadi oh, terrorists. Yeah, like, that's nah, it, that's, that's, uh, that's just that's some African nigga with a gun. That's a uh, Boko. Maybe you shouldn't uh, be there. Boko Halal. You thought about that? Yeah. Boko Halal is out there. They, they're going they crazy. finessed it. They finessed it. Everyone's a terrorist. Yeah, everybody. Everybody. Are you too terrified? Aren't you terrified right now? Everybody's a terrorist. Everybody's what was that? Terrorist. That was after 9-11. Everybody everybody's become a, a terrorist, terrorist. Unless you're a white guy and then you're a lone wolf with uh, issues. Uh, yeah. yeah. White people, yeah. 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 Yeah, if you're a white guy, you can shoot up. Whatever the fuck you Actually, want. no, you don't even have to have a... You could just be a white guy. You don't have to have issues. Like, think about it. The Vegas, the Vegas shooter just shot bad people and they're just like, we'll never know. We don't know. We never know. Okay. Bye. Bye. I, mean, I, feel I like said bye. bye. <laughs> Go away. Trump hasn't talked about that at all, right? No. No. He hasn't mentioned that shit. No. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder why. Well, also, Eminem, who's a very huge celebrity, was literally on TV talking about fuck Trump, like suck my dick. and That was like six months ago, though. Haven't heard a peep from him. That was six months ago on internet time, dog. Don't nobody care about that shit. No. Do you hear about the White House is infested with mice and roaches? I'm not surprised. I mean, besides Trump's family? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shit, yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Edgy Whoa. political discussion. Sick I'm burn. the nigga, boys. What? Take that, Ari yeah. Melbourne. We're the real MSNBC. Fuck you. Uh, I mean, Charlie Rose is gone. Everybody's, everybody's getting exposed. Should we, exposed. Should we move from uh, doing this uh, yakety schmackety Bronx shit to doing, like, hardcore political shit? I mean, but we just dress the same way? We just have it on MSNBC? Okay. I mean, that would be cool for, like, a week. We would just have our... Myself. We'd have the same show with the video clips, but we'd have, like, six <laughs> six pundits talk about the video clip for ten minutes after. Yes. And Perfect. Like, well, the uh, I mean, second dog fucking in this video was actually... Uh, German Shepherd, and you know, that was domesticated in the United States yeah. in 1948. The first uh, Teddy Roosevelt had a yeah. German Shepherd. He did, you as know. A, uh, uh, pet. Fun fact Teddy Roosevelt actually got his first German Shepherd when uh, he invaded Nazi Germany in 1915. <laughs> yeah. I laugh at 1915 because that's also the year that uh, they shepherded a German. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just a, a fun, quick fun that's fact. A good for, that's a good one. Just anyone here. All right, up next we got Rachel Maddow. Okay, Rachel Maddow coming with that heat. I hope she uh, <laughs> brings that same energy. It's lit. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great night, guys. God bless. Things <laughs> 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 just turn around. The camera zooms out. And shit, we're just sitting at the desk, like, yo. Everyone's like, like what the? F- everyone's like, what the fuck? Damn, these niggas made a hard left. They're like, what happened to? What happens? To, like, they're, they're like, no more suck my dick from the back. No, 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 ball, no. no ball baggies. This nigga just slide out his chair once. What happened? No fucking shout outs. What? Like, oh, this shit is whack. It's like, um, come back and say like. Shout outs to the federal interest rate finally oh. going over a thousand. Oh. This is the first time in the first quarter that without the backing of corporate tax rates. It's no a, shout out to the deficit. It's at five trillion now. Wow. Ooh. Unbelievable. Ooh, it's like my deficit from the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Y'all. All right. Peace. God bless. <laughs> you think it's signing off like take care guys take care <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay ball bagged <laughs> oh god listen just a matter of time just a matter somebody said yesterday on twitter they was like well, we sold out already I was like uh not yet no not, not yet man. how we how, just started bro? we didn't niggas ain't doing Pixar movies yet you know what? if you think we sold out that just means you have a small mind cause listen the levels of sellout we about to reach my nigga bro like I'm not even I don't even think we're even halfway there yet we're not even a quarter of the way there nah. Matter of fact, if we were, if this is a song living on a prayer, we're not even at the hook yet. Nah. Okay? We're at Tommy used to work on the dog. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we're just starting. <laughs> Down on his luck, it's a song. If you sing that a karaoke, you are an asshole. <laughs> you are an asshole. Dude. We gotta hold on to what we got. Doesn't Even if you don't know the song, like you just having a conversation, know. you're like, who the fuck is singing? Like, oh my oh god. god, it's 2017, and people are in oh a bar singing. Oh, oh, we're halfway there. Oh, <laughs> Everybody's just into it. Like, what the fuck? Bro, that's the shit. That shit comes out. Like, I did 
my sister loves to do karaoke for like her birthdays, whatever the fucks. Uh-huh. And we went one time and this is all hood people. Uh-huh. Like we're all, we got a room and shit. There's no, like there's one white person there. And like everybody else is like from fucking South Bronx or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Nigga, that shit comes out randomly. Everybody starts singing this shit. I'm like, how do y'all even know? Everybody knows that. How the fuck? Everybody, everybody knows this knows stupid fucking song. song. Everybody knows this song. Amazing. Shout out to Bon Jovi for penetrating the hood. If you really want to fuck up uh, karaoke, go and perform Whitney Houston. Why does it hurt so well? Uh, that song is slow and depressing uh, as fuck. Everyone will leave the bar. Yes. They might actually unplug the karaoke machine. They'll be like, you got to go. Uh, God. They'll be like, sir, sir. sir it's, it's not even, it doesn't have like a melody to fuck. It's just like so it's sad. It's sad for no reason. Ugh. I think you're gonna say um, the uh, "I will always love you." I was like, "Don't try to do that." That's you can't do. That's not you, like, you don't even try because no one has the pipes for that. Nah, if unless you're, you're doing it ironically off. bad, but then it's so yeah. bad that it's so long that we get the joke, and it's, now you're just up there. Joke is played already. Yeah, yeah. First, you can't. You never get into the first verse, and we're already like, "All right, okay, I get it, I get it." Your first time, I was like, "Woo!" Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so I was like, "All right, Joey, okay. all, all right, right, Joey, get down. We're trying to watch a fucking game over here. It's the Islanders." <laughs> Yo, shout out to white people who do rap songs. Look at me, it's the real Slim Shady. Yo, ha, ha. Bubba the Wu Tang shit? There is this. There is a nigga name. Yo. Yo, protect your, next, neck, protect your neck. Up next, we have Josh Reinelstein. He's performing uh, K Dot's Humble. He's like, uh. Yo. I got, I got, I, I got, got, I got. got. <laughs> loyalty and royalty inside my DNA. It's like, oh god, Yo, chill, chill, bro. You better not say nigga. Uh, I'm like, bro, this is. Nigga. I'm like, bro, you really booked this nigga for your fucking <laughs> kids bar mitzvah? What the fuck? Yo, he was no, he's rated number one on bar mitzvahs dot com. I don't know. The fuck, nigga? I think I got his son by accident. Like, yo, you want to smoke? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, bro, I'm just have the L right at the table. Like. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if I'm gonna bar me with my kids, but if I do it, I'm you got definitely to. getting like French Montana. You got to. Nah, you got to do it bigger than French Montana. French but, Montana. And then he brings out Diddy. Nah, you, who should you get? Uh, you get Biggie? Brick Khalid to bring out Assad. Ah. But Assad brings out Anthony Bourdain. Ooh. And nice. Anthony Bourdain brings Plot out J Lo and A Rod. What? Whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. And who do they bring out? I know, fucking baby. Oh, shit. Well, I feel like he should be emceeing the whole thing. He's going, hey, what? Table five. Hey, table five, my nigga. Yo, you have hey, to work. You hey. want to do by miss, but you have to work. Okay? Frying. <laughs> you have to start to being envidioso. Stop being envidioso of me. For I'm going to book your uh, kids' bar mitzvah, and we're gonna each table is going to be a different podcast episode theme. So it's going to be like the Nickelodeon table, <laughs> <laughs> the Reclaiming My Yeeks table. No, each table is going to be named after a character from the podcast. Oh, nice. The Yesenia table, yeah. the Ben Barson oh, table. Oh, nice. The kids are going to be mad. They're going to be like, what the fuck is this? What is this? What's what a prosciutto? I can't even It's not kosher. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you little brown clowns. Get over here at hey. the, the prosciutto table. Hey. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Uh, guys, you guys are brown and Jews at the same time. What the fuck is going on here? I don't understand, but brown. I don't like any of it. Brown and Jews sounds like on oh, like a fucking like a Wiz Khalifa, a Wiz Khalifa <laughs> remix. <laughs> oh my kids are brown and Jewy. Brown and oh my kids Jewy, are brown and Jewy. Jewy. Who's Wiz Khalifa? Wiz Khalifa's Pittsburgh. Okay, yeah, he's from Pittsburgh. All right. Shout brown the, and yellow, brown and yellow. Shout out to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is so weird that I, for a moment, I forgot that Philadelphia and Pittsburgh were in the mm-hmm. same state. Yeah, I don't know why. Every st- every city in uh, Pennsylvania starts with a P. It's oh, weird. Oh shit! Except for Reading. Ah damn! You almost fell for <laughs> you. Stupid nigga. Ah, I was trying to see. I was like, I was like, hopefully he doesn't mention Allentown. <laughs> Yo, Mongo got popped out there. B. Don't sell dope in PA. He got popped, arrested, or shot. Uh, I was I was gonna say both, but nah, just arrested. Oh, he'll be alright. He'll walk it off. Yeah, I mean, you know. Ohio is tricky too. Like niggas, I got family members got locked up in Ohio trying to traffic. Free my niggas. Don't deport them. Oh, I mean, getting deported to DR is not that bad. It's, it's like not a free that bad. Trip. Yeah, back. it's good. You'll be back. Yo, back. That's good. If you keep your, if you if you have some money stashed, mm-hmm. you're good. That's like the best thing that can happen to you. Where do you keep your money stashed? Uh, in the Nike box. Okay. In what a, room? In the stash stash crib. It's not even in my house. Oh, where's the, the stash, stash crib? crib? Um, in a stash area. Where? Uh, you know, just stashed. Stash Street. 
I mean, like, if you if if niggas wanted to get put a, like a lift GPS or some shit to Oh it. yeah, uh, just put it and go fuck yourself, Avenue. Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold this Mossberg uh, corner of Mossberg Slug Street. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so give me some uh, Wonder Bread to nurse this burn over here. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. You've seen all the good drug movies. One of us has to rob the other one. Um, I mean, this is about betrayal, dog. I mean, I don't got any. I don't have liquid anything. Nah, it's about the lesson. It's not about like, like I'll break it to your crib and steal a knickknack. So, like, yeah. Nigga, I stole your the principle. I stole your tchotchkes. Nigga, to buck you in the fucking knee with a shotgun. Like it's the principality. <laughs> Yo. Oh man! Shut and then the- I'd be mad because like if I broke into your house and pistol whipped you and took something mm-hmm. and you went to the cops, I'd be very disappointed. I want to go to cops. I'm, I think everyone, like, like, if you came in here, I think everyone would just be like, that's nah, fucked up, man. That's crazy. Nah, I can't go to cops. Like, you go to, uh, you come on the set, niggas be like, yo, you really turned that nigga in? Really? I can't go, I, can't, I, feel, I don't feel safe around cops. I don't even like talking to cops. I got into a car accident and I'm just like, uh, like telling them, like, you go talk yeah. to them. You go talk to them. I don't want to talk to them. Well, because at any given, if you're brown at any given time, you're in the wrong when you're talking to a cop. Oh, of course. Yeah, you could say you could rate you could say something too fast, you could say something too slow, you could reach for the pocket. I remember the time a cop got mad at me. There was a trash can on fire on Madison Avenue. It happens all the time, you know, all the time. I'll try to get the cops' attention and I go, yo, yo, the the trash can's on fire. He goes, Who the fuck is yo? Uh, I'm like, ah, oh, see? Okay. Like, Loki, I didn't even have to tell you about the trash can I fire. I thought should burn away. Okay? Like, I knew you knew about the trash can fire because you were a waste man. But. <laughs> no. You a cop, you a waste man. He was like, you don't address people as yo. Like, yo, do your fucking job. Fuck out of yo. here, bro. It's not to serve until If I was white, I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I should address you the right way. Well, like, listen, pork butt, get yeah. over here, do your fucking job that I pay for my fucking tax dollars. I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! One day, when I'm dressing like Carlton, I just got the sweater oh, over my neck. Can't wait. Can't wait. I'm going to go to the fucking firefighters versus FDNY boxing match and boo everyone. Yeah. But everyone should go, boo! Boo, fuck yeah! Boo! boo. Shout out to firefighters, but it's also kind of like not shout out to firefighters, because like, I feel like firefighters are too hype after 9-11. Like, they're too hype. Like, they're like, yo, we're the best ever. We saved all you. Like, nigga, you wasn't even there. Everybody that's a firefighter now and is in their 20s, you have you had nothing to do with 9-11. <laughs> you had absolutely nothing to do with 9-11. Wow. Sorry. 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 If you were 12 when the shit went down and you didn't actually run into a tower, nigga, I don't need to fucking bow down to you. Yo, sorry. Sorry. So, You're driving past my house mad fucking loud. It's 5 in the morning. I'm trying to sleep. Where's the fucking fire? Where's the so fucking fire? You went from hating on dogs in the subway. Yeah. To hating on the fish fillet. Yeah, yeah. To now you are saying. Yeah, I'm rubbing you the wrong way. Firefighters are overrated They're since overrated. 9-11. They're overrated. Okay. I'm saying who cares? Who cares? It's 4.30 in the fucking morning. Why do you need to blare? There's nobody in the street. There's nobody in the street. You don't need to blare your fucking little siren shit, nigga. There's nobody out. The nobody's suburb getting, report. Nobody's you, getting in your way. Woo, Miro's hot. Your way. Miro's hot. Stay ready. Listen. Listen, yeah, listen, it's the caucus live. This you know is the I'm Kid Mero, what, what grinds uh, my gears. No, no, actually, I, I'm talking about from living in the Bronx. Like, that's when it really pissed me off, because that's when you hear more sirens and more fire. Like, I don't even hear the fire. When you live in the Bronx, you don't hear sirens. It's a lie. You are naturally immune to them. Nah, Stop it. The fire shits. The police shits, no. I, it's haven't, a different heard, I haven't heard of sirens since 1988. Yeah, the fire shits, no. Police nah. joints, they blend into You got to let the fire shits cook. They're going to put out a fire. No. Nah. What the f- you got a big ass truck, but you could just like honk your horn when necessary. You don't need to be like, whoop, 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 rah, 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 rah. it's too much. Chill, bro. These people who have taken a chance of risking their life okay. to stop someone else's property from being decimated yeah. by flames, them losing everything they've ever worked I for mean, their whole entire life. I mean, look at people worse. Who? Like uh, the firefighters, because like they're not saving your shit; they're just spraying water on it. Wow, you know what I'm saying? Like wow, like it, <laughs> they're, they're they're stopping it from burning, maybe. But they just but soaking it up. Yeah, like your laptop is in there; it's either gonna get burnt or gonna get soaked and destroyed anyway. So you're losing your script no matter what. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so thank you for water logging my. I want laptop. to see the end of this episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm, <laughs> where you just, your house is on fire and, and you're standing like, in the front, da, 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 and the firefighter comes over. He's like, "Oh, I oh. put the vow. I just don't." Want to get your stuff wet? Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm like, well, use the foam. Use the foam. <laughs> the guy's got the foam thing. Use the foam thing. <laughs> no, sorry. It's 4:30 in the morning. I wouldn't want to make noise and wake people up. <laughs> what? Oh well, yeah, the smoke is gonna wake him up. And then you look over as a firefighter petting like a big ass dog in an IKEA bag while eating a fillet of fish, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> 
taught you, nigga. <laughs> my taught you. Up. My neighbor comes up from a cruiser. You're an asshole, Mero. Mero, you bald asshole. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm. So, yeah, Firefighters are overrated. Dog Firefighters are overrated. Uh, okay. What else? What else is a. Uh, don't like. Okay, let's just. just quick I'll update. Back. How do you feel about dogs on a train? Awful. Okay. Flare fish terrible. Flare fish terrible. Firefighters overrated. Yes. Uh, Oof, my nipples get hard. Go ahead. Keep going, Daddy. What else? Uh, steroids are cool in baseball. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Kissing babies on the mouth? Awful. Okay. Disgusting. Okay. Uh,. What else? Uh, raisins and pastillos. Oh, raisins and pastillos. I'm fighting your entire family forever. That's that's like the most egregious one. Cause it's like you buy. That's a, that's like lying to me, like to my face. You give me a pastelito, I'm expecting like a delicious. Like I'm gonna bite into it. And it's just gonna be mad juicy, and the meat is gonna be there. And it's gonna be a perfect, you know, chorus of flavors. And then you get that fucking raisin in there, and it's fried and it's mad like soft and but it's still a raisin, and the texture is fucking completely different from everything else that's in the pastelito, and it fucks up the whole flow of the taste because you got that weird raisin sweetness. Fuck that shit, bro. Don't ever do that shit to me. Don't disrespect me like that. How you lost weight but you still a fat ass bastard. You know what I'm saying? You have not piped up and felt passionate about anything on this whole episode. No. Nope. We start talking about food. That's it. This nigga's sweating. I love food. He got like a tear in his eye I right now. I love food. I love food. Food is yo, listen. There's only certain things that you can enjoy while you're living. You know what I'm saying? Getting laid, eating something good. And that's I guess getting high or something, the love of your children. I don't know. I don't know. But that's it. What else is there to enjoy? You know what I'm saying? You gotta eat what you want. You know what I'm saying? I mean with, within reason. Damn, that sounds like the Mad Bronx. Yeah. Like, you, you clearly you, you, have you never... Die today. You clearly never... Think put, about it. Would you rather live to 150 years old and drink Soylent, or would you rather live to, like, 70-something and eat whatever the fuck you want? It depends, because my... What if I'm eating Soylent and I'm living, like, in Dr. Dre's mansion, and I'm going to Hot Springs with Spike Jones in Dubai and shit like that? That's the thing. I feel like we overestimate... Like, Victor gets me hyped because he's like, yo, nigga, the advancements in medicine. He said this shit about, like, the advancements in medicine over the past 20 years... Are like quintuple the amount of some. This is some wild shit that made me feel like okay. Well, by the time I'm fifty, like no, no, we discussed this. Miro hears Miro. Oh, technology. technology. Miro has selective hearing, where he feels that things in the future will be Uh, fixed. Like he's like, oh no, I can get like no, you didn't hear like we're six weeks away from people getting brand new backs. Yeah, I was like, no, what? That's not true. So I thought that, but then I realized that that's not actually really true. So. By the time you're 80, you're going to be fucking like, look at like your 80 year old, look at anybody in your family that's 80 years old. There's 80 years old and there's 80 years old with money. There's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. But I look at dudes like Dave Rockefeller, right? Like he's super duper uber rich, right? Ooh. Rock, David Rockefeller is the last, one of the uh, surviving Rockefellers. Is it David? He's got, a, he's like 90. Uh-huh. And look at this guy. Look at him. He died in March. No, no, no. It was, oh, so that's not him. There's another guy. The Rockefeller family? What's, what's his brother? What's are you talking brother? about Dame Dash? Like, who are you? No. That guy. That guy. That guy yeah, with the fucking Illuminati like pyramid behind them right there. That guy. Who's that? David Rockefeller. Same guy. There's a bad photo of him in his photo shop. Uh, uh, that dude lived to like 100,000 years old, but he's fucking... Look at him. He looks like a... He looks like a... Look. He looks like Buffalo Bill. Nigga, like somebody ripped half his skin off. There's more to life than just looks. Nah, there isn't. Okay. As soon as I look like that, I'm jumping off a bridge. Okay. I can't wait. Can't wait. Huh? Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miro, we started strong and then it just, just unraveled to this. Yeah. You, just turned, you turned into a fucking Donald Trump tweet, just ranting, no. just playing Muslim for no reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, Got nothing to do with Muslims. Shout out to all my Muslims. You know what I'm saying? Keep your name. Shout out to all y'all. Okay. Big up yourself. Okay. Well, you know, this has been episode 91. You deserve love and respect. We're going to leave now. We're going to go. Uh, we're on a new episode of Trixie and Katja. <laughs> <laughs> on Vice Land, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Reuben flavored condoms. You ever had a hot pocket inside your hot pocket? Whoa. Whoa. As always, this has been your boy. <laughs> oh, shit. Shout out to everybody with misophonia. That what? Shout out to everybody with misophonia. What is that? Is that that noise thing? I hate people that hate when you like sneeze or breathe or chew a potato chip on the mic. I mean, yeah, somebody was complaining about that last time. They were like, stop eating on the mic. Listen, we're going to do Every time you tell us to stop, do something. We do it. We're going to keep doing it, man. Come on. We don't like to be told what to do. Fuck people told, tried to tell us uh, two different networks what to do, and we just, you know, just kept doing our own thing. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> stupid. It's how you feel. Yeah, that was mad rant for no reason. Sorry. <laughs> I just get in my little Kanye moods and uh.
you know how it goes. <laughs> Uh, As always, this is episode 91. Yeah. It's been your boy Jesus Nice, aka Jesus Rice, aka Young yeah. Chipotle, aka Pakistan Fat Like Tyrion, aka Chris Asper Slim Dick, Eli Lippy, Butch and Bougie Gully, Slow Banana Might Know You Bitch, Young Day Party, Young Hot Take, DJ Fuego, Mr. Nanos and Rando, Mio Novus at the Novete Quattro, Mikhail going off the Juve, Boss MC, Little Google P, putting up for 40, which is yeah. sure on it. Aka, don't talk to me in the old pool. I don't fucking know you. Know. I don't, I don't, I don't. The original, my plus one got a plus one, so don't make a fun. Son, these are Rossi and the Jamaican do. Jermaine Avocado Toast, Young Pa, the Ghost of Mufasa, Young Chakuni Rot the Corner, aka Chili Lamone. Oh. They've had a reliever for the Yankees game. Oh, okay. Bobby. Vice game Michael Zaka, three phone Joes, Jesus Machina, J. Chuckle, Stanley comes to human Dr. Bonner's label, dilute, Whoa. dilute, dilute. Dino Mr. 240p, because I like I'm a penal blurry. Yeah. DJ Woolite, aka listen to Wash FM. Up next, we got five Ooh. hours of jibs. Does your chain hang low? Whoa. The curry go. Jesus Spicer, Jamal Hasper, and the Bronx Celine Dion, yeah. Ray and Nephew's nephew, the Moreno, you cannot contain oh. the human meme, word to jaw. Young Aaron, the racist provocateur, Henry Budquest, Nelson Bandela, Sir Joe, can't see me, Whoa. Vladimir Buffin. The human word is melting in your mouth. Mr. Bex on Tegate, Rikitiki Squabby. Popovich, more say it with your chestnut. Mahatma Gambi, not Maccabee, but I got the cucumber. Did yeah. you suppress what your boy never yeah. is? I am the yeah. art, damn it. The Dundada Ganoush, no more cup of noodles. The Prince of Peckham, the Fashion Over, Casanova. William H. Cent, five cent, ten cent dollar. What? Forget the small change, give me big money wine. <laughs> the only anthem I salute is Gypset. Uh-huh. Mr. Saga, catch me at the square one, top left, Yo. man, smurf. Wagwan. Trills Relute, Trills Reluto. Holy cow. Whoa. AKA Mr. Soft Pond says, all I do is count checks and jerk off. We got OJ, uh, uh, purple stuff, a soda, <laughs> and uh, it's me, Sunny D. Whoa. David, you're man. Mr. Shopping down the street, easy with a bad breeze. He's like, I'm easy, please believe me. The black Asia attic will crack your back like an automatic craftmatic. Mr. La Marina, Mesh Marina with a fresh misdemeanor and a cold demeanor, aka your problematic bang. Yeah. bang. Bang. Yo, you pieces of garbage. You're very welcome for this free audio art. It's your boy. The Camaro, aka the Human Direct Five, aka Donovan McDowell, aka Curve Gotti, aka Tris Khalifa. <laughs> Big up mash up the place at the Sound Clash, aka Skirt Loader, aka James A. Fat Dick. I'll go so you shorty. And don't tell Tommy. AKA, I know fucking baby, I fucking man. I have the hookah store on Decking Tong. AKA, check the guests again, you fucking coward. My name is definitely on there, nigga, right next to fucking Chris Farley. What? He's dead? Oh shit. Fuck out of here, I'll smack the shit out of all you niggas. Call the promoter, I'm gonna step into the side while you check, you fat bastard. Nah, 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 hold on. I got a third, I got the burn on me, I got the burn on me. Fuck that. AKA, I'll play shoots and ladders, nigga, for four hours straight, bro. And then I will take a break and come right back and play Candyland for another four hours. You know why? Because I'm the fucking dad of the year. AKA, bitch, smack me, young boy. AKA, feel the ass, Tyson. I'm trying to explode your cosmos, ma. I mean your Milky Way. <laughs> Put on my face. A.K.A. Friday now, Messi MVP of La Mota. Euro League, we getting bunny out here. A.K.A. Tom Brazy. <laughs> You're sure they got my balls kind of deflated, but like, you know, at least like me and Billy are still getting wins. A.K.A. The Dominican Don Dada. I got that when I smash. A.K.A. Barlow Santana. Smo smooth. A.K.A. Blam de la Blam. I'm Blam for real. A.K.A. Romeo Santos. <laughs> tu favorito, mami. <laughs> so zany. Let me black out. <laughs> Let's hit the genie spot. I'm going to eat five genies and throw up. A.K.A. Dig in your bay, Matumbo. You don't come with this pussy no more, you understand me? Huh? You come into the lane, motherfucker, I block your shit. And I take the ass cheeks from behind, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? AKA, Ben Barson. <laughs> my hands are gifted. I replace your eyes with Game Boy Color displays. Oh, no. Now you can play Super Mario 2 with your penis. I'm not sure how that works, but trust me, I'm a neurosurgeon. AKA, Lightnell Dutchie. Hello, is it weed you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes That you're broken, sing a five What's that blue bag, nigga? That's not weed That's not weed That looks like angel dust So we're not finna smoke As a matter of fact, just throw it in the blood AKA, I'll open your medicine cabinet, nigga Please secure your benzos, you fucking wing Cause it's the Sandman AKA, Rico Sabroso AKA, Baby Newport AKA, Daniel Benefield mm, I gotta get some sticks mm, Top 40 AKA, Nino Brown I should've caught it down East Trima, Stevie B. I wanna be the one your DD is again. <gasps> oh, George, come back to me. AKA, pull it up from 50 in a motherfucking bowler hat, nigga, like Mason 1998. It's Barmelo's Anthony. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> from across the pond, mate. You know, I jump in my PJ to bless you. It's the plantain soup in ever in the sky. One day you will find me smoking weed on Tremont. And I don't know exactly what is in this blood. Ooh. Damn, I'm seeing tracers and shit, bro. I'm bugging. AKA, if you see me at Target giving the almond butter a finger test, nigga, approach me like an ursine mammal. I may react erratically and attack. 
Hasta tiro la pita. ¿Qué fue? Llegale a la grasa, el hijo de Titi FIFA, coño, Tiger Gang Affiliate, prendiendo el bloque, la juca y el toto de tu jeva. Así que tápate el pecho que está frío y mi tabla está caliente. Llegale, palomo lata. I got the pop of the key. Like the hooks. Pio for president. Hey. It's episode 91, guys. Episode <laughs> so 91. You know shout out to Square Cash as always. Yeah. By the time you hear this, this will be done. But, you know, shout out to everyone that came through to the Square Cash pop-up pop shop up. at 197 Mulberry Street. Yeah. If you're hearing this, hopefully you can build a time machine and go back and go get back. the limited edition t-shirts that drop. Ooh. Oh, you feel sick now. If you didn't get it, you type. And you're like, yo, why don't you guys come do a pop-up shop on the West Coast? And I'll say you simply this. We don't live on the West Coast. No. That's why we can't do it. Come on. One day soon, though. Just uh, make sure you give us a residency that says we, a piece yes. of paper that says we reside in L.A. Yes. so we could use it. Because, you know, your boy's got glaucoma. That's my, <laughs> my eyeballs is under pressure. I need to relieve it after, after the hour flight. Yeah, I'm saying, guys. I need, I need a little pack. CBD oil <laughs> for my balls. I need that Pacquiao. I'm saying, I need the edibles and I'm not talking about schmackers. Yo, it's your boys. We out. Holla.